Ilo! Ilo, 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 come outside. Let it not be that you're not ready yet, though. Come on, come out, come out. Let's go, let's go. Ah, I'm over. Welcome. How are you? I am fine, though. Uh, uh, you are looking for Ilo? Yes. Ilo is not around, though. He went to the farm. I know now. Ilo cannot go to the farm. I have a very important appointment with him today. Eh? He's supposed to escort me to my supposed in lost place. Ah, that reminds me. Congratulations. Hey, you know, I am so proud of you. It is only men of honor like you that go for their choice. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, me. thank you so much. <laughs> but Ilo say, how can Ilo leave me and go to the farm? Mm -hmm. eh? Well, I, 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 I thank God I, I told Kachi about this movement, else I would have been left alone. My dear, I can categorically tell you, in fact, authoritatively telling you, that Ilo went to the farm. Boy, I'm bossing the Let me run along and, and go and meet Kachi now, because we are running out of time. Eh? No problem. Uh, you will hear this course when I'll we are hear back. It now. <laughs> <laughs> you will know. Well done, though. Yes, so. I'm the blue woman. What? Hi! I am so happy for you. Thank you. So finally, he is here to start the process of your marriage. My dear, at first, when he was talking about this marriage, when he told me that he's going to come to my house with his friend to pick list, I thought it was a joke. Oh. I know. Until I saw them in my house for the list. You don't know how happy I am. You don't know how happy I am. Just, I just, just, just wait. Just wait. Just imagine the picture. Like, Ozemena and I matched together as husband and wife. <laughs> you don't know how happy I am. Serious, I'm so happy. I know how you feel. <laughs> Do you know what? The little I've known about Ozemena is that he's a man of his word. You can say that. You are so lucky. You can say that again. I just confirmed that. Mm. Serious, I just confirmed that. I'm so happy. You don't know. <laughs> I, I want you to remember. Mm -hmm. I am going to be your chief bridesmaid. Of course, yes. Uh -huh. Are you dragging it with anybody? God knows I'm not. You are not dragging it with anybody. But listen, eh, make sure on wedding day, after so you throw the flower, eh, you are cashing it up. What are you saying? Be fast, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just I'm telling you. Oh my God. So I'm so please, excited. Just okay, tell me, what's, what is the color of the day? So I can start putting my things together. Ah, uh ah, -uh, and they be coming down now. Uh -huh. <laughs> Be coming down and I was quite speed. Excuse me. Please take it easy now. Down to where? Hey, let him pick the list. Then from there, we know the way forward. Ah. My friend, I cannot wait for this to happen. <laughs> because after you, it's coming to be. Amen. Of course. Amen. Amen. But that reminds me, what is going on between you and Richard? Eh? Well, we are going on very well. We are going on fine. The problem is that he's not talking married, my friend. <laughs> he's not. Why? But you met him before I met Ozemina. Eh? I don't know what his problem is. Seriously. <laughs> and I just felt it's not right for me to push that to him. No. Just, just try to find out what his problem is. Yes, you have the right to do that. And besides, always put it in prayer too. Mm -hmm. Hey, I am done praying. No, this time is the physical one I want to do. Well, I've already thought about it. As soon as he returns from his travel, I'm going to have a serious discussion with him. Because after your own, the bell should be ringing. Yes, so, oh, yes, so, you can say that again. <laughs> yes! At least with this one, you will know we are serious. Yes. 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 Uh. Oh. You're welcome once again. Thank you, sir. I hope I, I did not uh, keep you waiting for too long. Oh, uh, not at all, sir. Not at all, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. This is the list. But before I hand you this list, uh, there are a few things about the list I will need to discuss with you. Oh, okay, um, but uh, we are we are already surprised with the size, <laughs> size of, the, of the list, uh, almost the size of a Bible. Um, but oh, I mean, continue. We are listening, sir. You don't need to be surprised, because if you want to have a wife, you must do all that is contained in the list, and. The, there are some important things 
you have to do a week after you have collected this list. Oh, oh, oh okay. So, um, sir, what are they? Yes. Okay. Have it. Go to the last page. Seven cartons of beer, ten tubas of yam, one goat, three bottles of hot drink. Why? Yes, that is the mandatory money for the collection of the list. And also, you will bring one jar of up wine. Okay. So, so in addition to this, yes. just for collection of list. Anyway, if you are a busy man, you can give me the money. So that I can use it and buy those things to inform my people that my daughter is getting married. That is how it's been done. Nani, all this for the collection of the list alone? Nani, this list here can even marry a maiden in another land. So. You couldn't know. Another land, you say? Yes. This is our land. And this is exactly how we do it. Point blank. Um. <laughs> 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 My darling. I think it's time to take this relationship to the next level. What do you mean? I want to make this official. I want to come to the palace. Meet your people and make my intentions known to them. Wow. Oh my god. Are you serious? Yes, I am serious. That would be nice. So when are you coming? I want you to discuss with your people. Fix a date. Whatever date it is, I'll be cool with it. Okay. I'll talk to them. And whatever they say, I'll let you know. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. I'm so excited. Same here. I can't wait to be your wife and sleep next to you for the rest of my life. Me too. Hmm? <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Guess what, honey? You know you have just made my day and I will forever hold you in the highest term. Same here. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> okay, I think we should go out, maybe have a drink, cool off, you know, celebrate. Um, I don't think that'll be possible now, darling. Why? Because I have work to do. Uh -huh. Don't worry, after work I'll find you. Okay? Okay, I'll let you go. Hi, right, darling. <laughs> I won't now. <laughs> hmm? mm. Take care of yourself. Yes. Give me a hug. <laughs> oh. Ozamina was here today. I know. You know. Mm -hmm. But how come you disappointed him? I didn't mean to disappoint him, but I have no choice than to disappoint him. I don't understand you at all. Why do you keep disappointing people that trust you? Come on! He is our cousin. The least you would have done was just to escort him to the introduction. You don't have anything to say to me, right? I'm on my own, you know, explanation. You owe me no explanation. Well, continue disappointing people. One day you will look for them and you will see no one. Hope you prepare food for me. I'm cooking. Come on, pal. There's no food. You say? I said there's no food for you. Hey, mama. Get something for me, oh. 
Make sure you get something for me to eat right now. Okay, now come. There's no food for me. Listen, this page is as important as the former. Okay. It is called the family list. This is exactly what you have to do for the members of the family before you take their daughter's hand in marriage. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Three bags of rice, five pieces of Hollandese wrappers for the mother of the girl, five heads of tobacco, two cartons of bar soap, three hundred thousand naira cash for the father, one hundred and fifty thousand naira cash. For the, the mother. mother. Exactly. That is not negotiable. Hey. Five, Five cartons of malt. Ten, ten cartons of beer. Yeah. Uh, uh, are you returning to me? Yes, because this list does not make sense to me. How? Oh. I, I don't understand. Nani. If I am your son and we went to a family to marry, and this kind of wicked list was given to you, will you be happy? I take that question as an insult, and I want you to withdraw it. No, he's not withdrawing any statement. Eh? He spoke like he, he is reading my mind. How can you tell me that this is this is a, a marriage list? Uh -uh. Eh? Are you the only man in woman that, that is giving out his daughter's hand in marriage? Uh -uh. Nay. Come out and let us know what your family problems are. Not hiding them behind this list. The Queen Mother. Huh? I take that as an insult and I will not take it from you. Nonsense. Nah, it's not, it's not an insult. It's not an insult. I mean, this list is, is heinous. Now, where on earth does this kind of list exist? Eh? Are we not traditional people? Uh, do you know what it took me to raise her up to that level? Yeah. That you want to come and have her just like that? I, no. Let me give it to you in marriage, just like that. No, nah, we know. Yes, we'll be because, hey, hey, we'll... Also, also, Kaina, let's go. Yes, okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Imagine, imagine poor people like you. Imagine you. By your actions, everybody knows you. You want to come and have my daughter. Just give away like that. Oh, you need that to one more kid, man, you more one. My auntie. It's our drink. I'm not here. What is the problem? You've been like this for a long while. For days now, you've been moody, you've been sad, you've been lonely, you've not been talking to anyone. What the? What's the problem? Come on, talk to us. I may be of help. You cannot help me. So there is no need telling you what troubles me. Just leave me. Leave me alone. I need some moments alone. Just me. If you cannot tell us what your problem is, what is the need being friends? We are friends. Thanks for your concern. Now leave. Go. You're very stubborn. Can't you see we are worried? And that is why we are having this discussion with you. Look at how easy it is for you to say, go, leave. Okay, we are not going anywhere until you tell us what your problem is. What is it, Seth? What is it that you have been keeping to yourself? Tell us what the problem is so that we know how to help you. I don't have time for this. I can't deal. Let's go. Huh? 
Maybe he's not ready to talk yet. Do you just say let's go? See, let me tell you, this is how suicide thoughts and attempts starts. From now, from, from here, he, he will start planning something that we don't know and put us in trouble. He has to tell us what the problem is so that we know how to help him. He has to say something now. Come on. We've been asking him this for days. Albert, it has not gotten to that. Maybe he's not ready to talk. Maybe he'll talk later. If you are ever ready to talk, we are here for you. And we are also ready to help you. Just feel free. Okay? If anytime you feel like to tell us what the problem is, you know we are here for you. So tell me, how did it go? Hmm. Madness. <laughs> my madness is the only way any sane person would describe what happened in that house. Madness. Hey! What are you talking about? You're speaking in riddles. What we are talking about here is that the kind of wicked list they gave to me and your cousin here today. Eh? With four million naira, he won't finish what we have on that list. Exactly my permutation. And I don't even have that money. And I'm not ready to steal because I want to marry. What is all this? See, the way this thing is going, eh? This marriage between me and that, uh, 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 this thing will hold on. No? Ha. How? It will hold on. No, 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 no. no. It has not gotten to that now. You will go and sit and have a private talk with your in laws to be. Maybe they will adjust some certain things for you now. <laughs> if you like, call them in law already. Does that man we saw in that house look like who is ready to compromise? No, tell me. That man does not. A man that was even the one who read one, he would say, exactly. exactly. Uh, this is not good. Ha! Hey, you guys are on a speed lane. You're driving, you're, you're on so much speed. Bring me down. I want to be on the same lane with you guys. The same thing. Break it down for me. Let me understand you. It seems that you don't, you don't understand what we are saying. What I'm trying to let you understand is that the list they gave to your cousin and I is very much. The list is shocking. I mean, how on earth did they come up with such a bogus list? I don't know. Eh? Did I tell them I want to buy their daughter? Uh -huh. Even if you want to buy their daughter, mm -hmm. must it be as, as, as big as, 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 as that list? I don't know. I don't know what they expect from us. My own is that I, I, I don't have such money and I don't have anything to do about it. Ha! Uh -uh. Okay, you know, I am beginning to understand you guys right now. I have always known that our marriage list was too high, but I wanted to confirm it from someone very close to me. Where is this going to end us? Why? That is it. That is it. Now I have seen the reason why most of our young men are not married yet. Ima okay, imagine, imagine Ikemba. Ikemba is almost 48 and he's not even talking about marriage. Eh? My brother, that is why most of our young men decided to marry outside our community. You see? You see? See, I pity our women. Because they are the people on the receiving side. Yeah, they are the ones losing. You need to call Adugo. We need to have a discussion with her immediately. Yeah. Okay, I'll call her. Um, you send it worried over the phone. Any problem? I do go, there is problem. Your father is making everything difficult. Ah! How do you mean? That means you have not seen the marriage list. No, I have not. Any problem? Then you need to see it before we can continue with this discussion. Please, if there is any problem, just talk to me. I'm directly involved in it. I beg. I'm directly involved in this. Eh? You need to see that list. Seriously. You have to go to it. <laughs> Do you agree with that? I do go see. There is no doubt if I love you or I want to marry you. Yes. But you see that list, you have to go and see it first. You need to see the Bible size. 
that your father gave us. Okay, it's okay. Um, uh, Mama, please, just you people should calm down. Let me go and take a look. I'll be back. Oh, please. Better. Hi. Better. has come to my notice before we start the discussion that there's a stumbling block which is a very serious issue right now and for us to remove the stumbling block we have to work on the list of your marriage that they give my cousin here and the way things are going i don't think i can continue with this marriage if nothing is done about that list what yes so yes it is the truth seriously you have to do something about that list Yes, but see, I understand. I know that the content of the list is on a high side. Saying that it's on the high side is an understatement. It is an understatement. No young man starting life can afford half of what is in that list. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Okay, see, I will talk to my father. Eh? I will talk to him to cut down the content of the list. That is what we are talking about. It is your father that we are talking about here, not my father or his father. Talk to him to reduce the list. The content of the list is quite much, it's quite high. He can. He's very, very considerate. I believe he will. Please. Yeah, talk to him yourself. If he agrees to cut it down, we will come back. Eh? Is that why you are frowning at me? It's not me now, it's my father. I'm not angry with you, I'm angry with the list. In fact, I'm angry with the Bible they gave me. Please, I love you so much. I do go. I do go. Can you tell me what this is all about? Rita, we are in trouble. How do you mean? Have you come across the marriage list of this kingdom? No, but I was told it's a bit on the high side. <laughs> a bit on the high side is understatement. How do you mean? It's ambiguous, outrageous and ridiculous. Yes! I don't understand. What are you saying? What I am saying is this. The list my father presented to Ozemena is very high. Wait. It's so high that you cannot afford it. Yes. Ah, sorry. That means even Ozemena is not ready for the marriage. Look at this one. 
You don't even understand what I'm trying to tell you here. Yeah, because you're not making any sense now. <laughs> what I saw on that list is roughly 4 million naira. What? Yes! That is a rough sketch. Hmm? If Kia is not hey. taking, 5 million will go in. And the white word is not even included. What kind of what, what kind of a list is that? Uh huh. Now you know. Hey, who you not to Wait. Was that the reason why he left? I think something needs to be done. Hey, Shimo. This 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 this, this is not funny. Mr. Demi is not on duty today. He should be on duty today. So why is he not here? I don't know. Do you know where he could be? He's at the back of the house. Okay, thanks. Sorry, that reminds me. Have you discovered anything about him recently? What do you mean? I mean, recently he keeps to himself. He don't want to talk to anybody. Haven't you discovered it? Well, I have. And did you try finding out what the problem is? Well, I've asked him, but he's not saying anything. Do you think something is wrong? Since it's unlike him, then something should be wrong somewhere. Alright. I'll give up to you. Alright. What is this that I'm hearing? What did you hear? What did you tell the elders at the village square? Well, I told them nothing but the truth. What nonsense truth are you talking about? Eh? What nonsense truth are you talking about? Amuma, have you heard any man or woman that kick against the tradition of this land and live to tell the story? Well, it will change. Nothing is going to happen to me. I'm just fighting for the right cause. Let me ask you a question, brother. What question? I'm listening. Are you happy with all the things that has been happening in this community? You can't say anything. Brother, you should be ashamed of yourself. I am telling you the gospel truth. By November, you're going to be 39. You don't even have the hope of getting married, even if you get to 40 years. When Papa died, we had to pick through our nose. If not for the good Samaritan that came to our aid, I'm sure we would have picked through our nose. You're not even thinking about all these things. Now tell me, this tradition we're talking about, is it not made by the selfish people of this land? Amuma, it's none of your business. Obasa Halagi, that is the truth. Obasa Halagi, is it your money? Well, it is not my money, it is not my business, but I'm going to walk towards it. This has to stop. Enough is enough. People are suffering. When I go to the mortuary, you will see corpses. Some dead bodies have been there for over 18 months. Do you think they are happy? They are not. Not because the bereaved doesn't know what to do. No. But because the levy is quite high. It is too much. Amuma. Amuma, listen to yourself. Now, I will not worry you again. Stay away from the politics of this land. Stay clear. Listen, let me tell you. The people that have tried to kick against our tradition did not live to tell the story. How did you run to Kakawaya? Now, Stay away, Amuma. Don't say I did not want you. Don't say I did not want you. What is wrong with everyone in this community? It seems they are not understanding your I believe. 
Even if you can't talk to anyone, you can talk to me. I really wish I can talk to you, but I can't. I, I, I just can't. You're scaring me the more by sounding like this. Oh, did I do anything wrong? Oh, no. You didn't. Then what is the problem? Um, beauty, I just, I just want to be alone, for now, okay? Okay, I will leave you alone, but not until you tell me what the problem is. Talk to me, or don't you want me anymore? Oh, no, 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 my love, listen. It has nothing to do with you. Then with who? Um, okay, that will do it this way. I will tell you, but you must promise me one thing. You just leave me to isolate once I tell you. Just promise me you will leave me alone once I tell you. Okay, fine. I promise I will leave you. But then tell me what the problem is. I am listening. Beauty, I'm, I'm suffocating in this palace. Suffocating? How? I wish, I wish I, I have better word to describe my feelings, but it's best you understand it that I am for suffocating. I'm just suffocating. I, I don't know what. I, I, just. What's going on here? My princess. Welcome, Papa. How are you? How are you? You are fine. Go and get me water to drink. Okay, Papa. So, Papa, how did you go? Same old story. Same thing. What do they want us to do? Honestly. This is the least I expected from our community. At this very period of our lives, where do they expect us to raise such amount of money? 500,000 naira. Where do they expect us to raise such amount of money from? Everything is becoming very frustrating. Everything. So, what, what did they finally say? I was discussing with your brother before you you came with the water. They are insisting. They are insisting we must have to pay the five hundred thousand naira to the community treasury before they will allow your mother's burial. Papa, what kind of tradition do we have in this village? So before we bury our dead, we must have to pay into the community purse. <laughs> Where is that? My question is: at which point? Did money become part of our tradition? 
At which point, for the past six months, Mama has been in the mortuary, and they are using this man-made rules to frustrate us. For what now? And still refer to such rules as tradition. Honestly, Papa, you have to do something. You have to do something. Huh. Uh, uh, listen, I, we are going to do something, definitely, yes, but I want us to be very, very careful. Calm down. Let us monitor and see how everything plays out. Papa. Monitor. Papa, these people are out to frustrate us. They are ready. And I can't take that. I cannot. What are you going to do? Leave that to me. It is between me and my God. Mm -hmm. See, I fully support you on this one. Thank you. We can no longer fold our arms and watch Mama remain in the mug. We have to find a way to bury her. Papa, what do you think? Well, I, I don't have any problem with what both of you, what you are suggesting. I don't have a problem with that, but... We need to understand we are up against the people without a conscience. So I am saying we have to tread with caution. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. Now I know. And the most important thing is that you are with us. Yes. So we can take up our action, do whatever we want to do. Um, Papa, your, your food is ready. So I'm getting his food now. Okay. So, my dear Queen, you don't have anything to worry about, huh? All will be well. All right, Your Majesty. Uh, Your Majesty. <laughs> My pretty daughter. <laughs> what are you doing? Beautiful. You look. <laughs> <laughs> this one, your face is like this. I hope nobody looks for your trouble. No, I'm fine, Mommy. I'm fine. Why are you asking her? Is she not your last child? She's just behaving her age. <laughs> Your Majesty, I know Judith more than you do. Whenever she wants favor from me, this is how she always starts. <laughs> so, Tommy, what do you want me to do for you? I don't want anything, Mother. Hmm? I don't. I'm fine. <laughs> okay, now, you say so. Your sister is here. <coughs> Father, Mother, one man is requesting to come see you, but. You need to define what you mean by coming to see both of us. Okay. He wants to make his intention about me known to my family. It's been long I expected him to do this. But now that he has owned up to his responsibility, you know what? I will gladly receive him. <laughs> Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Mother. Wow, congratulations, big sis. Your new home is blessed. Amen. <laughs> and you, when are you bringing your own man home? Mother, I will soon. Just give me a little time, I will. Mother, give her a break. I'm sure she'll bring one soon. Exactly. Just give me a little time, I will, Mother. Ah, Judy, you're not getting any younger. You are 25, 25 years, and there's no man in your life. Is that true, Judith? Yes, Father, but I had one guy, he messed up. And you want to remain like this forever? No, Mother. See, Mother, I'm taking my time, so I, I don't fall into the wrong hands again. Intelligent, very intelligent. Uh, take your time, my daughter. Thank you, Daddy. So, Big Sis, what's the plan? Okay. <clears throat> I don't know. That's why I'm asking. But you normally disappear from our room every night. This thing has completely changed. It's no longer need to do me used to know. Benson, you are his roommate. We should be asking you, what is his problem? I don't know. I'm confused as you guys are. At this point, you need to watch him very closely. Because he may end up killing himself and put us all into trouble. This is not the first time in the day he's doing this. He did it before and he has done it again. Then we should report him to the king. No, 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 no. Ah. I don't think it has come to that. Let's give him a little time. Clement, 
if you mind your post at the gate. You keep saying this all the time. When do you think is the appropriate time to do this? You know what, guys? You know what, guys? We should just put a close eye on him and see what he's up to. Ndudema, I know, is a very smart guy who knows how to mask his trade. I wanted to ask you a question. What question? When are you getting married? Why not allow me to bother myself about that? Yes, I know you're supposed to be bothered about it, but you're not. So I decided to bother myself on your behalf. I don't have time for this now. I, but I have time. Let us talk like brother and sister. The last time I checked, we had three girls. Two are married, remaining one. You are the only son since Papa died. You're not even thinking of getting married. Are you not bothered? But the question should be directed to you. Because you're a woman and your time of productivity fades away. So I should be asking you, when are you getting married? Oh, Viva, Uncle Two are already married. You are the son, the only son of the family. You're not married. You're not even getting younger. You're heading to 40. Like I said before, I will marry when I want to marry or when I'm ready to marry. So bring a husband for us or bring a husband for me. You should be you should be the one to get married and leave the house for me. Really? Uh -huh. I see. Hmm, brother, you should be bothered though. There is a sour after for me, see. What do you mean by that? I'm just saying. Something has to be done to cut down the content of this list. My daughter, there is nothing to cut down. It's either he does everything in that list, or he goes elsewhere. But, but the, the content of this list is outrageous. No man will be able to do this. You lie. Just two weeks ago, Chief Ekoma's daughter got married. And all that is on that list, we are provided. The man that got married to Chief Ekoma's daughter is the son of a serving senator. He's a rich man. The money is just like a peanut to him. Eh? No man, I mean, I mean, I mean, no man that is starting his life will be able to provide all this thing in this list. Papa Bikono. Eh? I do go. Go and sleep. I had a very busy day and the least I am supposed to be doing is this argument. Please, my tune is on the floor because you know, I don't want to sleep. Eh? Let us trash out this matter so that by tomorrow, Jose Menan will come for the realistic list because you know. Eh? I presented to him a realistic list as gazetted by Omona. You see, a man who wants to marry will go all out and do something. I, I, I'm, I'm talking to you. Not even a pin will be removed from that list. Papa, please. Yeah. Something must be removed. Where do you expect him to get money to do everything on this list? Because, yeah. I don't know. If he really wants to marry you, he must come and fulfill as the list required. Papa, listen, wait, I want to tell you something. Don't you think that if you insist that he must provide everything on this list, he might leave me and run away? Mm -hmm. I do go. If he likes, let him run away. And another man will come no. and that will send a message that he is not meant for you. Papa, no, I don't want <laughs> another man. Biko, Ozeman is already a, the man after my heart. I love him. He's, he's the person I want to spend the rest of my life with him. Biko, no, Biko. I don't have any problem with him. But I'm not against you marrying him. But he should come and fulfill as tradition and custom demand according to the list. Period. I'm your daughter. You can make your own decision. I'm your daughter. You can take your own decision. I mean, you're the head of the family. Papa, because you have to do something. I, I, 
God, no. My daughter, I have had you. But like I said, go and sleep. Wait, old guy. Where did you sleep last night, Steve? I do not think I owe any of you any explanation. No, then you owe us an explanation. Really? Yes, you really, 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 yes, really, yes, yes. Stop acting dumb on us. We are friends and we work together in this palace. Why would you be going off and on and you think you don't owe us an explanation? You do. Into them. If something is bothering you, it's only right that you tell us instead of dying in silence. And the last time we talked about this, what was my response? Here you go again. Forget about what you told me. All we ask of you now is that you tell us what is bothering you. Why are you behaving so strange? Okay. I don't know what you are talking about. I think this guy is losing it. We need to report him to the king before he will lose it finally. Well, it does not come to that. Let's give him some time. I believe he will change. Change? I still need us to give him some time. Maybe he's depressed or something. The point is this. If anything happens to him, we all will be held responsible. Ah, nothing better happens to him. Nothing better happens to him because I'm not ready to answer anybody's case. Ndode. How about <laughs> Who does she think? My she sister, is? we have seen her type. Or does she think she can just pop out from nowhere to change our long lasting tradition? My sister, I've said it before. She's just wasting her time. With time, she realized that she cannot change the tradition of this land. It's not possible. I wonder why the king. And the elders are still quiet about her. By this time, I was expecting the king to have banished her from this kingdom. Banish her? Do you still believe in that nonsense of a banish? My sister, with your modern age, you, you cannot banish anybody in this modern age. Do you understand? No king can banish anybody in this modern age. <laughs> that is where you get it all wrong, Angela. Nowadays, they don't longer do it by force. The king and the elders in charge of the offer, they will just walk up to the banished person and tell the banished person, you are no longer needed in this community where the offer is governed. And if the person still stays in the land, once he hits that offer on the ground, it takes immediate effect. And if the person still remains in the land, trust me, he or she will die within seven days. And the worst part of it is that no one, no one is allowed to mourn he or she. Not even the family member. Wow. You know what this is more than all of us so. uh -uh. I grew up with my grandfather and he has taught me a whole lot. Babe, I feel men in council since our mama doing this for the cloud. Because they are not giving her any attention at all. What she's doing is more than chasing crowd. They better call her to order before she amasses supporters. My sister, no right thinking person will stand with that. That's my own way. You think so? I know so. Oh, Kelly, we are. <laughs> oh, once in a while. <laughs> I do go, my daughter. I do go. I do go. Papa. Why are you crying? Papa, I'm not crying. Come, 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 Adan. Come, come, come. Come, come, my daughter, Adan. Come, come. Did someone beat you? Papa, nobody beats me. Then why are you crying? Papa, Ozem and I said that he's no longer interested in marrying me. <laughs> hey, I do go, mom. In our supper, mama. Is that why you are crying? Papa? Is that why you are crying? I thought you have something important to say. Papa, we 
wait. So, what I just said now is not important to you? Yes, it's not important. Let me tell you, my dear. I just saved you from marrying that poor rat. Papa, stop! Stop it! Please, stop calling yourself a, 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 a rat. He's not poor. He's not a poor rat. Stop it. Stop using that word. Then let him come and do what is required of him to do as a man that wants to marry. <sighs> Papa, let me ask you, when you married my mother, did you pay that huge amount of money? No, everything listed on that list. Did you pay all of them? <laughs> I do go. Listing and listing good. This time around, we call it modernization and the modification. Things have continued to be modified to suit the reality of modernization. But even if the list were like this, when I married your mother, because of the love I have for her, and I wanted her, I would have done everything, whatever that was demanded of me to do. Uh, you would have paid four million. So let me tell you, let me tell you, if that boy lost you as he claimed, let him come and do the necessary thing. Papa, Ozemana loves me. I advise you, forget about that guy. I would not, I would not forget about him. Let me, just understand me, let me repeat it. I will not forget about Ozemena. Papa, let me tell you something. Let me just tell you something, eh? If Ozemena ends up not marrying me, I swear with my chi, I will make this house a living hell for you. No, marry me now. Marry me! Let me open my legs, keep on, eh? No, 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 no. Marry go. me! I do go. Is that a threat? Oh, you are now grown up to threaten your father. Madoka. I ain't got a fool. Ebe. I'll soon tell I get Dota Kodia. Go get it. Mua. Okay, no problem. Wow. Wow. Nice weather. Right. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Nice weather we've got today. Right. <laughs> um, do you know what? I spoke to my father about your request for my introduction. Really? And guess what? He gave his approval. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now that's good news. I know, right? Great news. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we waiting for? Why don't we go in immediately to see the king? Uh, no, no. It's very busy now. Um, maybe later. Oh, are you in the ace? Oh no. Ah, uh, <laughs> you see, I took out time to to be with you today, so I'm not in a hurry. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Ah. So, let's go to my room. To your room. Yes. I'll prefer we we'll see the king first before proceeding to your room. Hmm. All right. Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? <sighs> what? I can't wait to be your lovely wedded wife. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, how many kids would you love to give um, me when we get married? <laughs> I know it's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, okay, it is a little bit embarrassing, but I'll still answer your question. As much as you're ready to father. Really? Yes. Well, then I tell you, I, I think um, three will be fine. Three? Of course, yes, three. No, five. Five. Three boys and two girls. Five. What? Yes. And what will you be doing with five kids? Really? Yes, really. <laughs> Listen, if you ask me, I tell you, three will be fine. Okay. You just ask the question, what will I be doing with five kids? When the time comes, you will know what I'll be doing with five kids. Let's just have three, please. What? <laughs> Wait, okay. hold on. Are you scared? 
I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, I think you're scared. Come on, I'm not scared, girl. Monitor. Good morning, my daughter. How are you today? I'm fine, sir. Good to know. <laughs> See you, sir. Monica. Um, sir, sir, please wait. <laughs> sir, uh, I, I've been wondering, what is your plan towards your late wife's burial? Ah, no plans yet. Uh, because I, I have not managed to raise the money the community is demanding from my family. The money that we must pay before the, the burial can take place. But why are they bent on making things so difficult for the people? I don't know. I have even pleaded with them to allow me pay half of the money so that the burial can take place. And after the burial, whatever money I managed to raise, I will be able to pay the balance. I made that offer to them and they refused. Who even made all these wicked rules that they now call tradition? Because... I am sure you wasn't like this 20 years ago. It wasn't. My daughter, you see, eh, there are so many things I have not permitted to, to discuss with you. And the question you just asked now is one of them. Uh, and, okay. Well, what are you going to do now? Uh, one way or the other, I am going to find the money and pay them so that they can give me approval to bury my wife. That's what I'm going to do. Thank you for asking. This has to stop seriously. Why are the people going through this? This is too much. Sounded over the phone as if your, your father has decided to change his mind. No, he still bent his neck. So why did you call me out? Eh? Why did you call me and you were even sounding like like that? That's a positive news. Baby, calm down now. Why are you being harsh to me? See, eh? let me tell you, I'm pissed off. Like I'm pissed with all these things happening. See, eh? see, my love. I want you to get me pregnant. What? I'm sure you've not discussed this thing with anybody. No. Which one is get you pregnant? For what? Of course. If you get me pregnant, my father will, I mean, he will willingly give me out to you free of charge. He will allow you to marry me for free. I won't do it. I will not do it. It's against my belief. Listen, I... my love, we are not talking about your belief here. We are talking of, about our, our feelings, our love, our emotions, our future. Can't you see? I love you so much. I don't want to lose you. I, I, I don't think I can do that. Mamma mia. No. Why? I will not do it. Because I want to be proud to hit my chest and call myself a man. That is when I'm fully married to you. I don't want a situation where somebody will come out tomorrow and say, eh, look at that one doing hanging shoulders, but they gave him wife on, on high purchase. I don't want it. I don't want it. Does it matter? Are you, still, are you still thinking of what people will say? Eh? Does it matter? All oh, this thing doesn't matter. It matters to me. It matters to me. Okay, fine. Um, I, I, I have another option. Yeah, should I bring it up? Please just calm down and listen to me this time around. You better say something meaningful. Okay, fine. Let us elope. Let's run hey. away and get... I, I mean, let's run away to somewhere else and get married. Adugo, who have you been talking to lately? Oh, see, I don't want to know, sir. Don't even tell me the person. But I must tell you, pop and plain, that person is deceiving you. Because me, or Zemena, Eh? I will not do that. I will not do it. Baby, are you sure you still love me? Do, 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 you, do you know that the only thing in the, that is not in that list is, is a dead body? Huh? Do, do your father even want a human head? Do you, Baby, I, are you sure you still love me? Why are you doing like this? Why are you treating me this way? Please, reason with me. I love you. And that has not changed. 
But you see all these options you brought. Think of something else because me, Ozaman, I will not do it. I will not do it. This thing is hurting me. It's hurting me. Baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Have I told you how beautiful you look today? Uh, but that was the first thing you said to me when I came to receive you. Really? Yes, I did? <laughs> you did! <laughs> <laughs> Please forgive my short memory. But, forgive me for I will be Reminding you how beautiful you look every day. Okay? It's as if your bliss increases every new day. I don't know how you do this thing. Mm. Mm? Thank you. But you don't know how you make me feel each time you tell me that. Well, I am glad I make you feel that way. Mm. And I hope you're ready because I'm going to make you feel that way for the rest <laughs> of your life. Really. I'm ready. Cool. Um, okay. Let me go check on my dad if he's free so you can go in and see him. It's all right. So, I'll be Take back. Take your time. <laughs> I'll be seated here enjoying my wine. Okay. Good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon. I would oh, like no. to discuss something with you. Oh, really? Why don't you make yourself comfortable? I'm and fine then talk? standing. Very well. Go ahead. What is it? The princess. What about the princess? The princess does not love you. Yes. And if you end up marrying her, she will never, never, ever be faithful to you. My friend, are you mad? Are you out of your senses? How dare you come to me to discuss such? Now get out of my sight. Get out! Hey, 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 come, 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 come here. Come here, come here. Listen, the next time you come to me to discuss such, I promise you, you regret meeting a man like me. Get out! What nonsense? No, greetings. What do you want? I want to ask you some questions tonight. You can see I'm on my way out. I don't have time. You can come back later or maybe tomorrow. Naye, I'm not going to take much of your time, I promise. I can't wait. Eh, Naye, please wait. Are you happy with the way things are going on in this community? I'm not the right person you should ask that question. Yes, I know. But you are the secretary of the elders in council. The same tradition that has penned down our young men and young women from getting married. You are the one who drafted it. The tradition that has kept dead bodies in the mortuary for months and years now. You are the same person that penned it down. So you see, you are the right person that I should be meeting for this discussion. I can see you are said to buy it more than what you can show. And I wouldn't hesitate to show you the other side of me. No, you can't do anything to me. You know why? Because I am saying the truth. Now tell me, were you not the one that drafted these traditions down? Yes, I penned it, but I did not make it a law. You know who did? Yes, I know who did. But I am trying to smooth in the rough edges here before going to meet the person. Sorry, there are no rough edges for you to smooth in with me. If you have any complaint, you know the appropriate quarters to go. You think I'm enjoying any of this? Well, on the contrary, I think you are because you should be enjoying the money that is pouring into your account. Oh, that's where you make a mistake. I'm not enjoying it at all. Our people are bleeding. 
two of my sons are yet to get married. Why? Because we have not been able to raise the money required to do necessary. Beyond that, my cousin died since the middle of last year, and his remains is still in the mortuary, yet to be buried. Why? Because we have not been able to raise the money needed to pay the community burial levy. So I am not enjoying anything. Then why are you not talking? Let me advise you. What is happening in the community is far bigger than you. And I will advise you don't double into it before you are consumed by the unknown inferno. Thank you. The picture is getting clearer now. Tell me, what happened? What happened now? They declined both of us. Why? You see. He said that it's, it's, it's against his faith. You see why I was advising you not to tell him? What you would have just done is to lure him into the act. He gets you pregnant and the rest is going to be history. No. No. I... <laughs> I don't want him to see it as if I'm trying to tie him down with pregnancy. Eh? Yes, I wanted it to be an agreement between both of us. <laughs> Ada, if care is not taken, that is how he's going to be. You might end up losing him. God forbid, I will not. I will not lose my man. Ada, this is not about God forbid. That is where this whole thing is heading to. Hmm? Yes, now. So what are we going to do? I don't know. I don't just know. You have to stop crying. No doubt you're confused. Yes, I am. I'm confused and I hate seeing myself like this. You know what? I have to come on. At this point, we need to strategize. You know what to do. Wait, do, 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 you, do you have a way out? Sure. Then bring it up now. Stop screaming. Bring Just it calm up down. because uh, I don't want to lose him. I will kill myself if I lose him. Ada, I will kill myself. You have to stop crying. Calm down. And let's go to a quiet place and let's, have this conversation. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, I love the tradition of this Orlando. Ha. Ha. Especially that uh, content of marriage uh, list. Yeah. Ha. Stay with me. Oh. My own is that I can't just wait for any man to come hey. and ask for my hand in marriage. <laughs> yes, now. <laughs> it's like we are all thinking in the same direction. Yes, now. Uh, uh. Hey. I have made up my mind to settle two of my brothers. Yes, once any man indicates interest in marrying me, <laughs> yes. they must pay my sister. Ah, yes. Sure, they will pay. Hmm. Women are valuable access. Yes, they no. can't just be given out for free, <coughs> just like no. our neighboring communities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have said it so. I mean, you all saw what happened at the Mazi Ebuka's daughter's marriage. Yes, yes. I was there. I, I saw everything. Hey. There is no kind of gift I did not see that very day. Hmm? And I just cannot wait. I wish that my own marriage would pull that kind of weight. <laughs> hmm. My sisters, mine will be heavier than that. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Did I tell you guys that? Hmm. Two men came for my hand in marriage. They came to ask for my hand in marriage three months ago. Ah. Oh, yeah, you why? Hey. The only question I asked them was, are they ready? Are they ah. one ready? They hey. have to be ready. Do they have fat bank accounts? Ah. Good um, question. But though, it was the only one that authoritatively said yes. Mm -hmm. Then you are good to go. Yes, you are good to go. Mm. Do I have not heard from him since the last time we, we chatted? But I have this very strong conviction that he will call back. I mean, he has to come back now. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> With all this, your assets. You can say that again. <laughs> Let go the bureau. <laughs> hey. He don't have any problem. He will. He's coming back. Yeah, he, will. <laughs> he has to come back. Uh -huh. Have you heard? What? When they, 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 they get better now. See, this thing will not work. How? I've checked it. It will not work. 
it won't. The father is not ready to compromise. What should I do? I cannot do more than this, so. Listen to me. This, this what you are saying now is not is not a good reason for you to abandon that girl. So what should I do? Advise me, you're my friend. What should I do? Ozemena, if you truly love that girl, stick to her. Why are you sounding like you did not see the list we are talking about? No, no, why are you sounding like you don't know? The, I don't have the money that I demanded now. I don't have it. There is always a way out. Which is? Just tell me. Get her pregnant. Hey, 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 hey. Don't even go there. But I'm already there. The money those men mentioned is too much. And the best way we can amend it is by you getting her pregnant. And the father will be the one begging you to marry her free of charge. <laughs> ah, why are you sounding like you don't know the background I'm coming from? See, if, in case you've forgotten, I'm one woman leader. My mother is the woman leader in church. And if I perpetrate such an act, they, 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 they will dethrone my mother from the church saying uh, he, the woman leader do, did not even train, train her, her, her son well. How can you be suggesting such a thing for me? Uncle pregnancy, I can't get what You are not serious. You, you and this your mother all the time. You, you are not serious because if you are serious, you just get somebody pregnant and 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 and, and, and forget about, about about all this. See, this pregnancy only did not work. Suggest so another thing. If unke pregnancy, avoid it. Oh yeah, no. uh -huh. let, let the women let them go and contribute money. Let them go and contribute money and give you now, so that you can go and marry. Uh, like I said, leaving that girl is not the best idea. You guys have already come a long way. See, if you give me four million naira now, you see this spot I'm standing, I will move from here to her father's compound and collect the list. What are you not saying? Give me four million now. My brother, nye, 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 nye. money is not everything when it comes to marriage. <laughs> You're beginning to sound like you did not go to that family and you did not see the list with me. I was there. Okay. If you can remember, I am very, very angry with those people. Good. You understand? Mm -hmm. um, you have to have a rethink before you throw away the relationship you have already built for seven years. See, let me tell you, I will have no problem throwing away this relationship. If the father continues like this, I will have no I will, I will not regret anything. Ah, do they want to kill somebody's son? Um, by the way, were you able to collect your own list from Obendida? Yes, I did. <laughs> so how does it look like? Ha! The list was very friendly and acceptable. Hi! Yes. And uh, with uh, 380,000 naira, I will finish whatever they have in that list. It's and a lie. I'm telling you the truth. 380,000? I will finish everything on that list and with my wife. That, that is what I'm talking about. I mean, that's how friendly a marriage list should look like. Not this, not this uh, uh, family problem list that they gave me there. My brother, eh? after visiting your woman's house, I was afraid that those people are going to finish me with, with billing. You are just lucky. You are, you are just a lucky guy. No, you are just lucky. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Eh, eh, eh. Your, your woman, does she have maybe a younger sister that is yet to marry. For what? She does yeah, not have a... I'm beginning to consider taking a wife from Oba and the day about the ship. Oga, you will marry your wife. You will marry her. Yeah. Yes. So you are, you are indirectly mocking me now. How? I must marry Adugo because any <laughs> You are laughing at me. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. You, you cannot reject your wife now. You understand? Oh, you are already calling her my wife. It's already your wife now. Now I know you are part of my problem. Uh, we must do the nifu today. Today? Ah, we must do the nifu. Let the person come. Let the person come. And here, everybody behind you. I can no longer speak at all. One night in the Never. What is going on here? Continue digging. Oliver, what is going on here? Go on. Papa, I'm digging my mother's grave. I don't understand. Papa. How? Papa, enough is enough. As a matter of fact, my mother will no longer spend one more night in mortuary. That is that will never happen again. Oh, labor, but you know that what you are doing is against the rule. <laughs> as set by the men in the administrative circle of this land. What you are doing is going to attract severe punishment. Yes. Let the punishment come. But at the end, I was able to bury my mother. Hey, oh, labor, can you listen to me? Can you stop this thing you are doing? Oh, oh, labor, can you stop this thing? 
Are you not going to listen to me? Papa, I'm not going to stop anything. As a matter of fact, if there is anything on my mind right now, it's to bury my mother. And that is exactly what I'm doing here. Stop this thing, Odilibe! My in-law, we cannot stop at all. We no. cannot. Whosoever made this law is very heartless, no, selfish, we and stop. inhuman. We can't be believable. Okay, now. Hmm? My in-law, I know you. I know why you're doing this, because you want to bury your sister. But you cannot, you cannot do this. You cannot start a war that you cannot finish. <laughs> Ask him to stop this thing. War. Let, the war. Let them bring it up. Let them bring the war up. At least. At stop end, this thing. At the end of it, I must have achieved my goal. You have stayed too long. We must bury her today. Today. Now. But this is not in line with the rule that they have set up. You are bringing problem to you are bringing a very big problem to the family. Okay. What is going on here? I'm asking you a question. I said, what is going on here? We are digging my mother's grave. I love a work there. In Abuala. I love a boom. You see? We are digging my mother's grave. Have you paid the community burial levy? I don't care anymore. I don't care. It's your energy. Have you paid the community burial levy? We have not paid, but that is exactly what we are trying to do. You have not paid. Stop digging this thing. What? You sat alone. Stop digging. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm talking to you, my friend. We are still we are still digging. We are still digging the thing. Stop 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 digging the I'm asking you, I'm directing the question to you. You have not paid the committee burial levy. Why did you allow them to dig the grave? Don't you know that digging a grave of the dead without paying the committee burial levy is a great offense? Go ahead, Exactly what you are trying to resolve before you came in. You know, and you. Enya! 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 Listen, listen, listen! Listen, let me tell you! Old man, listen, listen! Both of you are needed at Chifoka First House this minute. Now! You know? Now, now, now! You know? Now! Both me and my uncle, we are not stepping an inch. We are not moving from this place. What inch? We are not moving Who said that? Youth! But know these people. What are you doing? 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 It's nothing to worry yourself about. But why did he shout at you? I said, it's nothing to worry yourself about and you're asking me the same question again. Wait a minute. Why did you become so secretive? Since when? How do you mean? You have a lot of things in this your head which you don't want to tell anybody. Now listen, all of you. One of the things that best defines a man, a thorough man, is his ability to keep secrets. Yeah. Get that. Yeah. See, I'm beginning to see that we are disturbing you. And I promise never to bother you again. Never. Yeah. I will sincerely appreciate that. Thank you. I'd like to be left alone. Papa, Papa, 
Papa, Papa, where, where is all Kenan and Odelibe? Papa, Papa, where is Odelibe? For our plans, I will bring Mama home. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Adelibe! Papa! Papa! Papa, what's going on? Papa, where is my brother? The question should be. Why in this world will you take this kind of decision without the family? Papa, we have to do it. We cannot afford to allow our mass people one more day. Man, that decision you do, that your action to do something on your own, it has backfired. And I am afraid that what you have just done may have destroyed every single thing I've been working on. The youth were here. Yes, the youth network, they were here. And the way it is going now, a very heavy fight is going to be levied on this family. How would they know what we are doing? Why would they know? They have structure, they have informants everywhere. They know what is happening in the kingdom, and every family that is supposed to be organizing a funeral, burial or something, they have their eyes on those families. I don't know. But I need you to understand something. Do not ever, ever again try to do anything in this family without telling me. Because I am the man of this house. Look for, look for them where? Do you know where they are? Uh, one man, right? Yes, Your Majesty. I like the name. Thank you very much. You know why? Onye man neamandiche. <laughs> you see, our daughter here has told us a lot about you, but I still want to hear directly from you. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. You already know my name. Well, I am from this community. My father was the headmaster, while my mother a nurse. Yes, we used to call her Nurse Eliza when we were growing up. <laughs> but she later grew into a midwife, right? Oh, yes, she was a nurse, nurse Eliza like you just called her. She was taught in while in service until she became the head of midwifery department at um, St. John's Hospital before the government took over the hospital. Wow, I didn't know about that. Yeah. Well, um, I would want you to tell me about yourself. That's where my interest lies. Your Majesty, I am an architect and into contracts as well. What kind of contract can you handle? Buildings and um, road constructions, Your Majesty. Hmm. Wonderful. So what you're telling me is that uh, if I give you contract to do a good road for our community, that you can handle that? Of course, yes, Your Majesty, 100%. <laughs> And I must confess, you are in for a big thing. 
Thank you very much, Your Majesty. You're welcome. To deal with you. Are you mad? I'm not mad, Uncle. Then you shut up. If you're here, looking at his face alone, you know that he's a very stubborn boy. What happened to my face? What happened to my face? We will humble you. Now. We will humble you. Now, why did you want to bury your mother without paying the community burial levy? Because we do not have money to pay for the burial levy. Mm. Yes. And my sister will not remain in the mortuary forever. At all. How can you say? I see you people shopping your mouth. I see you opening your eye. You don't know the consequences of your action. There is no consequences anywhere really? for trying to bury the dead. May I ask you this question? You don't have any reason to ask any question. Exactly. You are not here to ask questions. Rather, you are here to be questioned. Yep. Now, my question is, for how long are we going to continue like this? For how long are we going to continue with the act of paying a huge amount of money before the dead will be buried? For how long? This thing you call tradition has never been a tradition. Randa was created by some some, some, some greedy old man. Then what's your trans? Uh, no, 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 I, I won't watch your trans. I, I, I need to speak up. Now, this nonsense has to stop. Yes, people will, will, will mobilize and then revolt against this kingdom. Is it not the same that the two of you have done? And you shall both be dealt with severely. Exactly. You, can, you, can, you, can, you cannot deal with all for trying to bury the dead. I put it to you, yes, because that is the duty. I mean, that, that is what the, 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 the living is, is, is doing the dead. Because the dead will never be left unburied. Because he or he her people do not have money to pay some greedy food. Hey, what's your trances? I tolerated it before, but I will not take it again. Then go ahead and kill us already. Mm. Keep so, quiet! Because we have a duty, and the duty is to bury the we dead. Shut I, up. I said, keep quiet! Keep quiet! Are you keep quiet! Are you shut up? Are you an editor? Keep quiet when they are there. I said, keep quiet! You are not an editor! You are a fool! Don't ask to keep quiet! Keep quiet! Keep quiet! You are not an editor! When editors are talking, you keep quiet and listen! Are you talking to the people? Look at the way he's ranting! Before the editors are there, I said, keep quiet! Go walk! I'm standing. Am I not standing? Now, let me make something very clear to you. I'm listening. I said, now I don't have your time. I reserve my time for your father. Really? And by the time I'm done with him, you shall hear from me. You don't careful. have my time. You don't for please. Permit me. Can we lie? In conclusion, Mama Na. You are welcome to my home. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. And uh, you have our permission to take her as your wife. Your Majesty, my queen, thank you so much. I feel honored. I promise you I will take good care of her. I know he will. It is written all over him. Thank you very much, Your Majesty, for trusting me. Good Okay. What is it? Someone is outside to see you. The person can wait. As you can see, we're in the middle of a serious discussion here. But uh, we're almost done. Is the person a man or a woman? A woman, my okay. All right. Bring her in. Thank you. At this point, let me rest in my room. It's all right. It's all right. My man. My king. <laughs> ah. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. I was told uh, you want to see me. Yes, Your Majesty. I would like to talk about two things that is bothering the well-being of the people of the land. And I would like the king to oblige me. You already have my attention. Go ahead. Your Majesty, I went into a research and I found out that there are 28 dead bodies, both men and women in the mortuary. And they are yet to be buried because the families cannot afford the burial levy. Your Majesty, these people are suffering. 
I am begging you to use your good offices and do something about this. Please, you have to look into this matter. And secondly, I am not sure you are aware of this. So many, I mean, numerous things that have been smuggled into the list. I mean, the marriage list of Umuenu Kingdom. Go ahead. Your Majesty, I have taken my time to go through this list and it is quite outrageous. How do you mean? Any young man who wants to get married to any young lady in this kingdom would have to budget nothing less than 4 million naira. That's a whole lot. Your Majesty, if you look around, you will notice that we no longer have marriage ceremonies in our kingdom anymore. Our young men go to the other kingdoms to get married to other women, leaving our women here at the receiving end. Your Majesty, please, you have to look into this matter as well. The people are in pain. They are suffering. They are crying out. You just can't notice it at the moment. Please, I am begging you, look into this matter. Please, Your Majesty. I must confess you have spoken well, my daughter. Thank you, Your Majesty. You can now leave. Thank you. What else are you doing here? I'm not here because of you. I want you to stop coming here. I have nothing to gain coming here. Then leave! Not until I deliver the message I came with. What message are you talking about? The elders demand you meet them later today at Chief Okafor's house. I've heard. So leave. Mind how you talk to me. I'm not your mate. Who cares? Watch your tongue. Else you get hurt. You can't do anything to me. I can't do anything to you. <laughs> you know me very well. So there is no need of explaining myself to you. Rubbish. Big for nothing. Papa, you're not going anywhere. There is already a problem, as you can see. So we must not do anything that is going to escalate the problem. Come back. Come back. Come back. Save me. Oh, 
feel good. I've been told, Emma. I can tell this food will be very sweet. As hmm? usual. I trust <laughs> your brother. <laughs> it's very sweet. Of course. <laughs> Mama, mm. I hope you're going to teach the woman I will marry how to cook like this. I've started teaching her already. You started doing it already? Yes. Who? Blessing. My ego's daughter. My good friend. Mom, I hope you didn't tell her I will marry her. I've told her already. And she will be coming here today to have a discussion with you. Mama, why now? Why will you make such a decision without my consent? Because I want the best for you. And she's the best. Mama, I made it clear about the kind of woman I want to make my wife. She must be outspoken and not a dummy like Blessing. Mama, no. It's an insult calling her a dummy in my presence. Everything a right thinking man needs in a woman, she has it. She's beautiful with a good shape. She is educated. She's so loving. Above all, she is very, very respectful. Is there any other thing you want? Mama, thank God I made it clear. The attributes I want in a woman. She must be outspoken. You and I know Blessing is a shy person. And I hate such people around me. You can shape in her. You can make her exactly the type of woman you want. Mama, I don't have that time. Eh? I don't. Allow me to enjoy this food, please. You are enjoying the food already. But blessing is the best wife for you. Can you rest now? I will. Hello, sir. Yes, Albert, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Are you busy right now? Uh, not really. I'm not really busy. Okay, fine. I need you to meet me up at um, the T Junction before Anthony's um, Catholic Church. I want to have a word with you. I hope all is well, sir. Oh, of course, yes. All is well. Okay? Okay, I'm coming. Thank you very much. All right. You know,
Hey. I just saw the number you sent to me now. Well, thank you very much. I truly appreciate it. All right, then, take care. I'll speak to you later, okay? Thank you, bro. How long are you going to continue like this? I'm sorry, mother. Sorry for yourself. Judith, look at what you are doing to yourself. In fact, I cannot fathom. Where did you learn this type of lifestyle? Your father, sister, and myself do not behave like this. It won't happen again, Mom. Ah, spare me that, yo, it won't happen again. I've heard that countless times. Yet when I turn back, you will return to your uh, drinking and smoking. Judith, you need to change. You have to change. You are a woman, an African woman for that matter. African women are not known by this type of character. You have to change. Did it, you are pushing me. If you continue like this, you will leave me with no choice. Than to tell your father that you are a smoker. Oh, no, mother. I, I, I promise I will change. I will then change. change. Because from now onwards, I will have to keep my eyes on you. Sorry, I threw you away. You know that came so. Sorry. Smoking openly in the palace, she does not smoke cigarette alone. She smokes hemp. <laughs> and she uses cigarettes to step down. God, 
See, I swear, that princess, she's a disgrace to royalty. My question is, where did she learn such a character from? Where did she learn such a bad character from? Because I'm very sure her parents doesn't behave like that. My dear, why are you surprised? From the university, of course. Ha. you have come again. Miko. Who told you they smoke in the university? I mean, where did you learn that from? Why wouldn't I know? Is it new? You learn those kind of things from the university. Have you girls forgotten that her sister is in the university? Exactly. And she tells me the kind of bad life that they live there. I support you on that, Adako. Because even me, I heard there are even girls in the university that dress naked. I'm not surprised though. She told me that that one is an everyday thing. And even the authorities are already tired of them. Hey! See, if that is the case, peacefully, I am killing my desire of going to the university someday. <laughs> what is funny? Ah, beauty. Calm down now. But so, look, we live in a world where nakedness is now overrated. <laughs> But wait, Chiso, I want you to explain to me what you mean by nakedness is overrated. Come on, you should know what I mean by that. Exactly. I know, but my sister. I won't be naked because I want to go to university. Mom, Walter, <laughs> dressing naked, hell no. Ha! Because since you two want to remain here and argue with each other all day, I'll just excuse you and go run errands for my princess. Keep arguing. <laughs> what you and your children did today is an evil that must not go unpunished. What were you thinking? You think you can play faster on us, Abby? Eh? I can't imagine, imagine that you and your children can do such a thing. If you will listen to me, the truth is that they plan this thing without informing me. Eh? In your compound? Yes. Naji, stop lying to us. I'm not lying. The truth is there. The evidence is there very clear. The youth said the grave was dug right inside your compound. How come you claim you are not aware? Yeah, this is, I was not there. I'm telling you the truth. I went to see my brother and I came back and he made them dig in the grave. And why did you not report to us? <laughs> he will not report to us. You know why he will not report? Because he fell in love with the act and decided to cover up for them. No, and, eh? I did not. I'm telling you, I did not. Now listen to me. For this singular act, you and your children must be punished severely. Why, why are we talking about punishment? Does it mean you're not listening to me? I want us to understand this thing, that death is already a painful thing. And it is not avoidable. Everybody must face death. I am already in pain as a result of the death of my wife. I am pleading with men in council, please. Stop making this thing very difficult for me. I am pleading. Yes, I agree that what my son and my in-law did today is very wrong. Good. I, I, but I, I want you to forgive. Please, it will not happen again. Naji, you know what? This will never be swept under the carpet. You see that music that you are playing? You'll be made to dance to it. Which music have I started? I don't understand. You know the music when the time comes. It is very clear that nobody wants to listen to me. All my explanation is falling on deaf A. Now we are deaf. That is it. You know what? You have already decided that you are going to punish me. No problem. So when you define the punishment, you know how to communicate it to me. Wait a minute, are you working out on us? Uh, so what do you want me to do? To sit down here? I'm mean, doing what? I thought all of you are my friends. But I have just found out that I'm alone. You want to punish me, I don't have any problem with that. I'm explaining nobody's lesson. No problem. When you define the punishment, let me know. And you know this is an affront. Look, look at him. Working out on us. Men in the administrative circle of this land, Imagine. he will definitely hear from us. He will hear. He will hear from us. Mm. 
Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Um, I need a favor from you. What could that be, sir? The woman you led into the throne room while I was with the king. Do you know her? Yes, I know her. What's her name? Amuma. Do you have a house address? No. What about her phone number? I don't have her contact, but I can get it for you. Please help me get it. I'll, I'll do that. I need it. I'll do that. I'll get it. I will appreciate it if you do. Okay, sir. Yes. Uh, uh, sir, is, is that all? Um, that's all I'll be needing for now. Ah, so I would have just told me on the phone I need this. <laughs> <laughs> I would have done. I know I would have, but um, I also wanted to give you something, and I, I know it will not be, would have been possible over the phone. Oh. That's very generous of you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Take care of yourself. Thank you. I will get the number. Okay. And I will, I will send it to you. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Your Majesty, I went into a research and I found out that there are 28 dead bodies, both men and women, in the mortuary. And they are yet to be buried because the families cannot afford the burial levy. Your Majesty, these people are suffering. I am begging you to use your good offices and do something about this. Please, you have to look into this matter. And secondly, I am not sure you are aware of the so many, I mean, numerous things that have been smuggled into the list. I mean, the marriage list of women. Okay, so, should, what should I offer you guys? Nothing, we are fine. You are fine? Yes. Okay, so why are you here? Um, we understand you are the only person in this entire Umuinu kingdom. Who is against our wicked tradition? How do you mean? <sighs> you are the only outspoken person in this kingdom. Every other person is feeling the heat, but they don't want to speak up. Yes, they have all decided to die in silence, but we want to speak up. Yes. Okay, I'm listening. Um, it's getting to nine months since I lost my mother. We have not been able to bury her because we cannot afford the burial levy. As you already know, the love of my life came to marry me, but was scared away by the outrageous marriage list. Now I understand what you're talking about. Um, if nothing is done about this, that will help you preach the gospel of freedom from bad tradition. Yes. I am glad that some people are beginning to see from my angle. Today is the best day of my life. This is a very great movement. I am proud of you girls. But the question is, are you ready for the change that you are fighting for? Mama, listen, if we are not ready, we wouldn't have been here. We are fully ready. Exactly. We are ever ready for anything. See, if you want us to start today, we can start. Just brief us on what you want us to do. And we'll move forward from there. Okay, I'll pick up your numbers. Create a group, a WhatsApp group probably. And then we'll pick up from there. That's okay. nice. That's Thank you so much. We are ready. Thank you. We are ready. Maybe you want to go try your luck. <laughs> and what if I decide to try my luck? Check it now. Amoma is a young maiden of uh, uh, Umuenu Kingdom. 
Single, don't forget. I am a young man of Umwenu Kingdom. Single too. <laughs> Vibrant. <laughs> so you never can tell. Greetings, my princess. Oh, you shut up and keep your greetings to yourself. I'm sorry, my princess. Better. What were you doing with him? With who, my princess? How dare you answer my question? With question. I'm sorry, my princess. Then tell me, what were you doing with him? I'm sorry, my princess, but you're confusing me. Tell me whom you are talking about. Then I will have an answer to your question. Oh, really? Okay. Since you're acting so dumb, like you don't know what I'm talking about, I will tell you. But don't you dare lie to me. Or else, I will skin you alive. What were you doing with Undudim? Not in my princess. You are still lying to me. My princess, believe me, I am not lying to you. I only saw him moody. Then I decided to ask him why he was moody. Oh. <laughs> and that must be very nice of you. Exactly, my princess. Oh, friend. shut up your mouth. Look at her. And I only asked him that. As what? As his mother or his girlfriend? I'm asking you. Listen to me, let me tell you. I don't want to ever see you with him or any guard in this palace again. You only came here to walk. And if you feel like you're tired of the walk and you can't continue, tell me, I will gladly relieve you of your duty. I'm sorry, my princess. Oh, it won't happen again. Shut up! Oh, get out of my sight, you dirty thing. I said get out! I'm sorry, ma. Stupid thing. That's how you will be sleeping around and when you get pregnant, you start blaming the dead. Hello, sir. Oh, oh, okay, sir. You have no problem. You're a good man. I can do anything to help you, sir. All right, you too, sir. All right, sir. Man, I mean to be there. Who was that? I don't understand. You who wouldn't tell anybody anything in this palace. It's actually me, where are you at? I better shift. Come on, why is everybody keeping secret in this palace? Do you know the question? That I don't know what is wrong with them. I guess I'll start keeping secrets too. Beauty. Beauty, you don't look happy. What is it? I just finished speaking with the princess. And? She does not want to see me standing in this palace with any guard, including you. Why would she give such order? I don't know. I cannot 
not stop standing with you. I can't do it though. Same here. I came to your room last night. You were not there. Where were you? The, the, the queen. The queen sent me on an errand. What errand? Huh? What errand? You see, she sent me to the neighboring village to fetch some herbs for her. And what time of the day did you come back? Um, I think around 1 a.m. What? Yes. So, did you get the herbs for her? Yes, yes, <laughs> sure I did. Okay, that's fine. So, what's up? How is your night going to be? I want to spend the night with you. We can spend the night together. I love hearing this language. Is it a promise? Cross my heart. Good morning, bro. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. I wanted us to have discussion last night, but you're already asleep when I came back. Oh, we can have the discussion now. As you can see, I'm already going out. We'll talk when I come back. Okay. Yeah, hello? Yes, hello there. How are you? I'm fine. Who am I talking with? My name is Wamana. Wamana? I don't know anybody with such name. Oh, yes. You do not know me, but I know you very well. What can I do for you? I would like for us to talk. I believe we're already talking. Oh, yes. Um, I want us to have a conversation. Not over the phone, but um, one on one. One on one discussion. Sorry, are you sure you know who you want to talk with? Of course, yes. I saw you the other day when you came to discuss with the king at the palace. Wait, wait, wait. Are you the one that was in the palace with the king and the princess when I came in? Of course, yes, it was me. Oh, please, pardon my manners. You've not done anything yet there. Okay? So, where can I see you? Um, I'm actually trying to cook right now. Home. I don't know if it's convenient for you to um, have a visitor now. I could come see you. Okay, the choice is yours to make. Okay, um, I'll come see you. So how do I get to your location right now? When you get to St. Max Catholic George, you go by your right, follow the fence, first turn it by the left and then call me. Alright, thank you. Pardon. Hello. Your sister is fighting our tradition. She sees our tradition as evil and she has started raising disciples. I want you to talk some senses into her head. Ichi, this whole thing sounds really strange to me. Because my sister is not that kind of person that will go against the rule of our land. That means you don't know your sister. Your sister is already walking in the wrong direction. And no matter how far she walks in that direction, she will never get to a destination. Um, Ichi, mm -hmm. how do I come in? Well, I have told you already. Hmm? 
talk some senses into her head. Let her understand that she cannot fight the tradition of her people. Hmm? Let her understand that those that did in the past were consumed by the same tradition. I've heard it. Um, I will talk to her. And I believe she will change. Good. Let her understand. Hmm? Let her understand that she cannot fight the tradition of her people. Eh? Except she wants to incur the wrath of the gods. And I believe that will be a great disaster. Ah, Ichi. It has not gotten to that. I will talk to my sister to desist from anything contrary to our tradition. Ma'am, I will talk to her. That's good. I trust you. That's why I invited you. Hmm? So, when do I expect the feedback from you? Uh, probably this evening. But if I can't make it this evening, or failingly tomorrow morning, I will come and give you feedback. That will be very good. Hmm? Okay, Thank sir. you very much. Uh, Ichie, I better take my leave now. It's all right. Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure. Well, thank you very much for the, for the um, directions. It made it easier for me to locate you. You're welcome. You know, I wanted to prepare something, but decided to wait until we're done with the conversation. I hope I didn't control your schedule for today. Not at all. It's all right. I'll, I'll make this conversation as simple as possible so we can go back to your day as planned. Okay. I would really appreciate it. <sighs> um, Amuma. You see, I listened to you once and um, I fell in love with you. I want you to know that it's going to be a blessing if you accept me as your husband and I promise to be the best man any woman will ever pray for. You are welcome. Thank you too. Oh, it's actually five years I left this village. <laughs> yes. Yeah, just as it appears as if it was just yesterday that you left. <laughs> well, June this year would make it five years exactly. Good. <laughs> I'm happy you came back alive. <laughs> that is the most important thing. You know, Ndoka, life is supreme. Hmm. That is a name that holds a lot of meaning. That name we give. That's good. Thank you, sir. Um, it's a pity I left the way I did. If I told her, she wouldn't have allowed me to go anyway. Definitely. Uh, she wouldn't have allowed you to leave. Uh, but um, I, I don't blame you anyway. A man has got to do what a man has got to do. Yeah, but, uh, exactly. But because of the way you did it, you know, we we concluded that uh, you were dead along the line. Do you know that she actually mourned you? <laughs> Seriously? Yes. Oh. She cried for several days and several nights. Oh. So that means if she sees me now, she will treat me like a ghost. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> that is the way she's going to treat you. And I need it. To prepare your mind because uh, most likely she's going to pick sand from the ground oh, and pour oh, your body to be sure that oh, no, I am not seeing a spirit. <laughs> hey. Well, sir, I've actually come to ask for a hand in marriage so both of us could relocate back to the United States. That's a very beautiful idea. Thank you, sir. Thank you for. So nice. Thank you for accepting my. Um, no, who, who will not accept? So much. Who will not accept? Um, sir, I did not feel to realize that I did not see Odilibe and Mama. Odilibe has gone to work. Oh, good. Uh, but I, I'm sure he will. He will soon come back. Uh, but um, their mother is no longer with us. <laughs> no longer with us. In other times that she moved from here or she, I. You may. She passed on. Pa passed on? Yeah. I, I don't understand. We, we, 
we lost her nine months ago. Wait, wait, do you mean she's dead? Yeah. How? When? She actually died nine months ago. She died. Oh my god. I'm so sad. <sighs> I'm so sorry for your loss. It's okay. At least, can I say a grief so I could actually pay my last respect to her? Well, that is actually where the problem is. If there was a, a funeral that will lead to a grave, one way or the other, I'm sure that you may have heard. What I am saying, in essence, is that uh, we have not buried her. I don't understand. You have not buried her? How? Has it? Why? This is not going to work. Why? Because you were just at the palace to make your intentions known about the princess. You know that because I told you. As soon as I saw you, I had a change of mind. You can't have a change of mind. You're so quick in actions, you know. You just met me and here you are talking about marriage. Is that how it works for you? Well, I know it doesn't work like that generally, but if you try this, it's going to work for us. It is not going to work for us. How do you want people to see me? How do you want the people to think? Even that the should, princess, how do you want her to feel? That should not be your problem. Trust me, I'll handle the situation, okay? You will handle the situation just like you are going to handle the situation when you switch from me to another girl. Right? So that means you're used to this. Don't make me feel guilty about the whole thing, please. Don't make you feel guilty. You don't even answer my question. I mean, switching from the princess to me is quite discouraging. And I want you to leave my house right now. Get out. You know what? I'll allow you to ponder my proposal and reflect on the sincerity of my request. I'm sure we'll get back to this and everything's going to be fine. Okay? It will never work. Please leave my house. Think about it, Amuma. Five hundred thousand should have been the reason why she's still in the mortuary till now. My God, this is unbelievable. I, I, I can understand how you feel, but had it been we had the money, we would have paid. We don't have the money, and that is why she has been there. It pains me. It pains me that my wife died nine whole months ago. And up to now, I have not managed to bury her. It's okay, Papa. I would give you one million naira. 500,000 naira should go to the community and the balance of 500,000 naira should commence burial processes immediately. You didn't just say that, son? Yes, I did. And all I want you to do now is to give me your account number so I could send it to you so you could eat the ground running. Thank God, 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 I thank you. God, I will forever remain grateful for everything you have done for me. Thank you. It's okay, thank, thank Papa. you very much. It's okay. Please, all I need is the account number so I could wire the money immediately. Hi, Please, God. just call it now so we could do it, okay? God, God. It's, 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 it's Union Bank. Okay, Union Bank. Okay, number? Seven zero. Three. Zero three. Okay. Five four two. Okay. Seven six. Yep. Nine four. That's one million naira on its way to you. Finally, going to bury your mother. Papa, 
You sound so confidently. Is there something we need to hear? Okay, what you need to hear is that I have one million naira now. Huh? One million? By the time you add it to what we have already, you will agree with me there is no reason for us not to start planning how to bury your mother. Papa, hmm. if this is a joke, please stop it. I am too old to be joking with something of this importance. Wait, oh. wait, Papa. Did you, did you hit jackpot? Eh, hey, or deliver? I actually hit more than jackpot. Are you serious? Uh, yes! I'm very, what are you? I'm very serious. Papa seems to be very serious, so. Ha! Uh, Papa, please, bring us up to your speed. And so that we can be on the same page with yes. you. Okay, my speed is very simple. Ume was here this afternoon. That's the speed. Ume? Which Ume? Your Ume? Ah, I see which Ume. Mm. Your own Ume. Papa? Papa, I don't understand. Ha. Uh, you don't understand the Ume or you don't understand that he was here? Which one don't you understand? Papa, if this is a joke. It is not a stop. joke. Who was here? Me. Papa, to the best of my knowledge, the Ume that I know is dead. Yes. Exactly what I thought. Until he came here this afternoon. Look at now. Look at the vehicle. Now look at you see the tire. This tire. That is who man. He was actually the one that gave me one million naira that I, that I was talking about. Yes. He transferred the money into my account and I got the alert. The mm -hmm. money is in my account. I'm, I'm, yes. And he was very specific that we should spend five hundred thousand naira paying the community levy, hmm. and then we spend the remaining five hundred thousand naira starting to prepare the burial. And even for the way he sounded, he may most likely bring more money. More money? Yes, more money, yes. Papa, Ume is no longer welcome in this house. I don't understand. As in the... See, you better return his money. As in the, who are you? Whose house? Who are you to take such decision in this house? Are you the papa? I don't are you me? I don't understand. Am I not the one he came to see? Oh yes, he came to see you. But the money he gave to us was specifically given for Mama's burial. Yes. And we have started making the plan, the arrangement. Uh, hmm. As men. Hmm. Papa, return his money. Nobody should spend his money. Else, when the time comes, you will marry your son to him. Imagine it. Nobody should spend his money. Oh. I don't understand what is wrong with this, isn't it? Imagine. Somebody who I just told you is even planning to bring more money. Is the one you're asking me to return what you brought. Imagine. What are we going to do? Papa, leave his in there. To me, the best thing you will do is by tomorrow morning you will go to the community, pay the community levy, the better levy. And then you will come back here. We will plan on how to bury mama. And then let me tell you, I have saved up to 120,000 and I will bring it out. Good. Add to what you have. And you see that the better is already over. Yeah, of course, you have already buried him. Everything is already seen. <laughs> don't mind, isn't it? Isn't it? Don't worry. He will bring more money, eh? <laughs> but are you really happy with the way everything is going in this village? Take a good look at yourself. You ought to be married with kids by now. But you can't because of the marriage list. It's way too high. I'm on my call do you here for us to have a brother and a sister discussion, not this noise you are making. I am not making noise. I am only stating the fact and the obvious. The fact that we will soon land you into trouble if you do not stop. Nothing is going to land me into trouble. I am fine. I can handle myself. <laughs> Amuma. On the contrary, a lot will happen if you do not step out of the way of the tradition of our people. The tradition is like a moving train and it will crush anyone standing on its way. Then let it crush me. Let yeah. it fight for itself. Huh. Amoma, I still do not understand why you are doing all these things. I want our people emancipated. I want them freed from this man-made evil tradition. That is what I want. The way you are going about this whole thing, you will soon pour yourself a coal of fire upon your own head. And trust me, I will not come to your aid. Why won't you come to my aid? You're my brother. And besides, like I said before, I am fine. 
But I trust me, by the time I am done with this, everything will fall in place. What in God's name do you stand to gain? Listen, I've been friendly with you on this particular issue. But now let me warn you. If you do not stay out of the tradition of our people, Amoma, you have me to contend with. They have sent you to come and stop me, isn't it? Now let me tell you something. Go and tell them that they have failed. As mm. a matter of fact, I am now the moving train. <laughs> It's all right. But let me tell you, I will not warn you again. I'm glad you know what I can do. You know what I'm capable of. And you do not know how far I am willing to go for the right thing to be done. You don't. I will not sit here exchanging words with you. But I will not warn you again. I will not warn you again. I will not warn you again. Amoma, come on. You know you're the reason why I'm here. Huh? I can't be the reason why you're here. We never had any conclusion that we were going to meet up at this place. Or did we? Well, you're right. But, um, I would like to have a conversation with you. Huh? No, you can't. Why? Because you can't. As you can see, I'm going to the market to buy something. Can we just get into the car and um, have, have... I just told course. you, no, we cannot have any conversation. What else do you want from me? And stop giving me that look like I'm some bad person. Oh, no, you're not a bad person. But please, I would like us to talk. Can you just get into the car? Let's, uh, let's talk. Please. Five minutes, and that's it. Five minutes? Come on, Amma. Five minutes will not be enough for me. You see, that's why I never wanted to start up this conversation with you in the first place. It will never be enough for you. No time is ever enough for you. All right, you know what? Why don't I take you to the market? You buy whatever you want to buy, I bring you back, and then we go to a quiet place and have this conversation. It's very important. I am going to buy what I want to cook. I mean, what I am going to cook. I don't need your help. That will be fine. I, I mean, it will be fun watching you cook. Huh? Please, I beg you. Fine. <laughs> I... What is it? You don't look happy. Judith, please, I want to be left alone. Why are we sisters if you cannot confide in me? It's a matter of the heart. That's why I said I want to be left alone. That's why you need to talk to me. One man has not been picking my calls. I don't know. Why? I don't know. I don't. Were you quarreling with him? No. Oh, okay, maybe because he's busy and that's why he's not picking your calls. I don't, don't say that. I don't think so. I just feel like he's intentionally avoiding my calls. Cases. Let's just don't conclude yet. Let's give him three hours and if he doesn't return your calls then you can conclude he's doing it intentionally. But this has never happened before. 
Pixies, the world is dynamic. Anything can happen anytime. Let me get you a bottle of whiskey to cheer you up this morning. Wait, excuse you? When did I start drinking alcohol with you? And that's why you're in this mood, because you don't drink alcohol with me. Don't worry, a bottle of whiskey will shake you off this mood. I'm coming! You left me for complete five years. No cause, no messages, nothing. And you want me to accept you into my life with gladness. No, man. It doesn't work that way. Please, babe. Please. I'm begging you, just listen to me. Just hear me out. Just this one time, please. I don't want to listen to you. Please, leave me alone. See, we've come a long way for you not to listen to me. See, when I got into the U.S., I was thrown into jail. What? Yes. I spent two painful years of my life in jail before I was brought out innocent and every accusation against me were dropped. And, and you didn't bother to tell me? There was no way communicating to you in that prison. I lost all contact when those police people came to raid my apartment. Babe, I'm sorry. My not communicating with you wasn't intentional. So, wh why did they lock you up? A neighbor of mine was into drugs. He was a drug dealer and when they came for him, he ran into my apartment. So they just assumed that I was part of the gang and I was arrested. Mm. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know. I, I'm sorry for the way I lashed out on you. It's okay. Sorry. It's alright. Now that we both have communicated with each other and we've understood what's happened, can we pick up the pieces of our lives and our love life so everything could come back to normal? Please. Yes. You, you know I love you so much. I love you too, baby. And I'll do everything for you. Okay? I love you with all my heart. Ooh, you still look beautiful as ever. I miss you. <laughs> See, I bought so many things for you, okay? Really? I bought clothes, jewelry, all the things you used to like. You need to come and see them. Okay. Come into the car, let's go. Come into the car. What exactly do you want from me? I'm Oma. I want to marry you. Just like that. You don't even know me. You don't even know where I come from. Yes, I, I know I do not know you, but... Um, I know, but with time I'll get to know all of that. The most important thing here is you approving of my relationship with you, all right? I'm sure as we tag along, every other thing will fall in place. What if it gets to a point that something cannot fall in place? Together we'll fix it. What if it's not fixable? Amuma. You see, I believe every problem has an expiry date. Just like bad tradition is ravaging our community and you are doing everything to solve the problem. Just like other people who think there's a normal way of life and there's nothing that can be done about it. You believe this can be fixed. Are you trying to get married to me because of my confrontation and presentation of the king? The truth is, after making that bold presentation, I was certain within me that you're the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. How? I have always asked God for a woman like you. A reformist. A woman who's fearless and will state things just the way they are. You are my prayer answered. For I have found that woman in you. Okay. Can you at least give me some time to think about it? Of course, yes. Okay. Oh. Come drop me off, please. You don't want to spend some time here with me? 
I have a whole lot to do at home. I understand. Very well, let me drop you off. Thank you. Hmm? Everything I could to make her see reasons through the abortive. Same thing with my father. He doesn't want to hear that the wedding is taken to another church. But is there anything bad if we have the wedding either Aglican or Catholic? I don't see anything bad with that. This is not good at all. It would destroy things if it's not properly undoed. And we will not allow that to destroy our relationship. Instead, we will take the bull by the horn. We will play by the rule and still get what we want. Mm -hmm. Let's just sit and watch how this event unfolds. With the way things are going, I don't see any. I don't see any way we can be able to convince my father or your mother. So I am thinking we should have the traditional marriage here. Mm. So when we get to the US, we'll have our white wedding there. Mm. We'll just look for any church and have our white wedding there. <laughs> wow. But how come I didn't think of this? This is just a perfect way to solve it. Mm -hmm. I thank God that I found the most intelligent woman as a bride. <laughs> you are too intelligent for your age. You see? You're welcome, my princess. Where is your son? Hope all is well. That does not answer my question. I said, where is your son? Well, he went out. Okay. Just tell him I came to see him when he comes back. Okay. Would you mind if I offer you something? I didn't come here to eat nor drink. Just pass my message across to your son. It's okay. Why is she... Why is she this angry? Why is she angry? I cannot believe you actually sit here watching me cook with all the smoke. Well, let's just say I want to learn how to cook. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay. So tell me, what have you learned so far? Well, from the little I've seen, you didn't put onion in the soup. Wow. That's a wonderful observation. I mean, you're a good observer. My job has a lot to do with observation. Oh, I see. So tell me, why didn't you put onion in the soup? Well, that's because I'm making my soups traditionally. I don't want to add all those ingredients and all those sachets, you know, all those fixtures. I want to make everything to come out raw. Now I'm enjoying this lecture. Hmm. 
I can't wait to enjoy your soup. Very soon. As the man of the house, I am going to plead with you so we don't waste a lot of time over this issue. Why are you here, Ume? Sir, I love your daughter. <laughs> and I've come to inform you, Madeleine, about my intentions of mine, uh, if you can give me your consent. <laughs> your, your, your intention is very noble. Very beautiful. And uh, we are excited. But as you know, we are not uh, the ones that will be giving our consent. Ezinde is the one who is going to be married. Oh, yes. Therefore, she is the one that will be giving us her consent. And once she gives us her consent, we can pick it up from there. Uh, yes, Papa, I will marry him. <laughs> <laughs> that settles it. Uh, that is it. In that case, we may to have our consent. Everything is right in your hands now. Mm -hmm. uh, in my hands? How? <laughs> we'll give you the list. Very important. You will go back. Then come back with your people. Then we'll proceed. That settles the matter. Right. Daddy, am I... Oh, no, no, you are, you are on track. <laughs> I'm on to the tax. That's exactly why I'm here. Uh, it's a settled one now. Uh, well, again, uh, there is something else I need to ask you. Very important. Yes, uh, for us to, you know, be sure that everything is on the right track. Okay. Um, okay, sir. Uh, what um, what church do you attend in your family? Family church. church. Yes. <laughs> family church. Sir, I and my family attend them, um, Aglica. Ah. Ah. There's a problem. Problem. Big one. Problem, sir. It's not just ah. a, just not problem as a problem. I'm talking about uh, it's a very big problem. Ah. Ah. Oh. Papa, I don't understand. What problem are you talking Chai. about? Yes. Um, it's, uh, uh, when you get home, you, you ask your mother. Uh, she will be in a better position to explain. Chai. Yes, it's actually a very, a, a very big problem. How? 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 Uh, yes, Anglican problem. Papa, I don't understand. Must the wedding take place in Catholic Church? Yes. Why? Uh, because uh, if I should allow the marriage to take place in the Anglican Church, where he is worshipping, then it is uh, uh, going to be a problem because uh, most likely they are going to excommunicate me as a very bad parent. Uh, not only that, uh, they may bar me from uh, receiving the Holy Communion. Uh, what is a Catholic who does not receive the Holy Communion? What is the gain of all these useless religious policies? This is destroying the brotherly love we should have as children of God. Exactly. Whether Catholic or Anglican, they are originally brothers from the same town. Why are we allowing religions to destroy us? Why? Papa, yeah. Ume is going to marry me and the wedding is going to take place in his church. Glinka. Because you are who? No, 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 because you are now the head of the family. I don't understand. Ume is going to marry you, I agree. But the, the marriage, the wedding, 
is going to take place in my church. That is the Catholic church. Must there even be a wedding? Isn't Nick can just get married to this man in line with marital right of women? Uh, yeah, of course, of course, that, but nobody is agreeing on over that. The complete marital rights of women will be carried out. Then after that, wedding will take place in the Catholic Church. Hmm. Papa, I, I can see you don't have my interest at heart. I don't understand. It is, it is not about interest. My, I don't have any interest. We are talking about the Catholic community where I belong. Their own interest is what I'm talking about. Oh, Papa, you were already a man of women before you joined the Catholic. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't understand. And you know that our origin is more superior to our faith and belief. Yes. To that. start with, why are we even arguing on this matter? Now, wait, you see what I'm saying? I am not arguing. But we are arguing now. No, no, no. You are the one that is arguing. I have already presented my point very clear. Ah, you are the one. Papa, I there's go. no point discussing this. And when the time comes, we know how to go about it. Well, as in, you are the one that is getting married. Don't postpone this discussion. It is better for us to discuss it now and reach a conclusion that, yes, Ume is going to marry you. And then the wedding is going to take place in the Catholic Church. If we fail to agree now, tomorrow we will still be discussing this. <laughs> I'm going to marry him. I'm going to marry him. I'm going to marry him. I don't know the same church. I just don't know. I'm trying to convince you. My love. I'm listening. I'm actually here to talk to you. Uh, what could that be? Since you don't want to do or say anything about it, I will have to say it. Oh, my dear, what could that be? When are you coming to see my people? Can't you see? I am overripe for marriage. Same with me. Oh, thank I'm God even you overripe know. for marriage. Thank God you know. Yes, I know. So why not do the needful? I wish to do. But the tradition of our lands do not allow me to do so. But you can start little by little. And by the time you know it, you will clear it all. That will be the worst. How? Yes, that will be the worst. Because the content in the list will take me years to clear. <laughs> and honestly, I don't just want to dabble into anything that I cannot finish. Meaning that you don't want to marry me anymore? No, baby. I didn't say so. I'm only working on my finances. And I can assure you, once I raise money, I will come over to do the next one, once and for all. Please. What if you never get this money or oh, get this money in bulk? Baby, what will happen? Baby, stop having just myself. I will. Just be rest assured. You know I love you. I will. You know and you are I my love, I pray that we take you for another ten years. No, no, nah, look at me, look at me. Just no, smile. Please. No, you should, be, you should be rest assured. Just trust me. I will definitely do that. Look at me. Yeah, kiss me. Good afternoon. Where are you coming from? Oh, I went to see a friend. Princess was here and she was very angry. Why? She did tell me. But from her body language, she did it to see you. It's alright, I'll go and see her later. No. She sounded urgent. I think she wants to see you now. No, Mama. I'm very tired, I need to rest. Okay? I'll see her later. You need to see her now. I don't want her trouble. Mama, nobody cares about her trouble. Okay? I'm the man in this relationship and not her. I'm the only captain here. From the beginning, you gave her the chance to dictate the major part of what happens in this relationship. I think it has come to stay. 
So, you have to do something about it. <sighs> Mama, all of that will stop now. It's ending now. I need to rest, please. I see trouble coming. Uh, uh, did he finally agree that the wedding will take place in my church? No. Why? That means he's not going to marry you. I hope you know. Papa, you didn't just say that. I said it. Listen to me. If the marriage is going to take place, this is going to take place in my church. You, people, you don't even understand how serious this is, huh? Yeah, because the marriage is going to take place in my church. Oh, do, do you want them to excommunicate me? Why would they excommunicate you? Do you know what it means to excommunicate somebody? That means I am no longer going to be receiving the Holy Communion. You don't even know how serious these things are. But don't worry. Very soon you will understand. <clears throat> Papa, to solve the problem, we'll just have our traditional marriage and forget about the white wedding. Why? I don't understand. <laughs> Firstly, I don't want to lose out completely. And secondly, I don't want you to have issues with my illos. Did you discuss this nonsense you just said now? Did you discuss this thing with uh, with woman and he agreed? Yes. Why would he be spreading this kind of nonsense? Because he wants peace to reign. Papa, traditional marriage is even the main marriage. The so-called white wedding is just for formality's sake. Yeah, we will have the traditional marriage and forget about the white wedding. No white wedding. Well, uh, that is what you agreed with it. You agree with him that there will be no, 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 no white wedding? Because you are not the man of the house. So, brother. In fact, eh, no marriage. Simple as that. have seen your missed calls and should call back by now. Exactly my point. And that's why I'm so paranoid. I think you should go to his house and find out what's going on. I just let them go. He wasn't even in the house. Are you sure he's not seen another woman? Never. Of course not. This is exactly what is going on, sis. Don't rule it out. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> One man can never do such a thing to me. <laughs> I will kill him and kill that woman. <laughs> sis, you would do no such thing. Yes. <laughs> You're laughing. You think it's funny, right? I mean it. I will kill him and kill the woman. <laughs> Don't worry, sis. You'll be fine. Okay? You will. So, where is um, mom and dad? Um, mom should be in her room. Daddy went to the government house for a meeting. Don't worry, sis. You'll be fine. Oh, I'll keep trying. So, the wedding must take place in my church, Anglican. Why, Mama? Why? My son, your food is getting cold. Hmm? You can go in and eat. Later, we'll continue the discussion. Mama, why? Why do I feel I have a problem with my proposal already? Why? Mama, see, we must have this conversation here and now. 
My dear, like I said, your food is getting cold. Go in and eat. We will discuss it later. Eh? Please. Ha! Huh. Oh, wow. Eh? You don't want other women to attend my wedding. What's the mean law? You don't dare, baby. The best thing to do is to call him back if he didn't call you. But mother, that will make me look so cheap. And that's exactly what I'm trying to avoid. You are building a relationship with this man. And you have to let down all manner of pride if you must build a good relationship with any man. I don't understand you, mother. You're talking as if you don't even support me. I can only support you if you are on the right track. Since when did you start talking like this? My darling daughter, to build a relationship is not easy at all. Men pass through a lot of stress. And they always pretend. I mean, they always hide it because they want to be men. The women in their lives are the ones who must manage them so they don't go off track and probably die untimely. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I mean, it is possible he didn't even see your calls. <laughs> Oh, mother, please. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> Just stop trying to make case for him. Please. Just call him back. Call him. Call no. him first. No. I will not. Then stop complaining. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, sir. What would you drink? Sweet wine will do. Thank you. Do you want it cold or room temperature? Room temperature. Okay, sir. How do you intend to handle this matter? You must return my calls. And that is the only way I'll be happy. What is wrong if you call him back? Ah, mother, please, stop. Just stop. I will not call him. I will not. Why are you always stubborn and sensitive issues? Yes, come in. Greetings, my friends. Greetings, my queen. Oka, what is it? Mr. Wamana is here to see my princess. He's seated outside, my queen. No. Okay. I've heard you. Now you win. Mm. You can go see him. Ah, mother, not so fast. Let him wait. He made me wait for his calls. So? Just kill me. Why are you making things difficult for yourself? Instead of this white wedding causing a force and commotion within two families, mm. I have made a decision not to have a white wedding. Never. You must do white wedding, mom. Ma, is it by force? <laughs> it it's is my old. wedding. Is it by force? It is. Old. Do you know how many people that have attended their wedding? And do you know how many people that are waiting to attend my only son's wedding? Don't even go there. <laughs> Mama, this wedding that you want to attend by all means, have you taken into cognizance if I do not have money to fund this wedding? Anyway, I can help you raise some money. But I know my only son can never be broke. I know. Mama, mm -hmm. having this white wedding will cause a lot of problem. That is why I'm trying to avoid it and I don't want it, Mama. I don't. You must have white wedding. You must! This is the opportunity I have to display myself as women leader in my church. And this is the opportunity 
the, for the whole world to know that my only son is getting married. And you want to deny me the opportunity. I like Ah, Mama, mm. for the church to do this white wedding is tearing our families apart. It's putting our families in asunder. My son, it will not tear our family apart. After all, it is our right eh, to choose where the wedding will take place. With time, I believe our in-laws will understand. Mama, mm -hmm. I don't want this wedding. You can see what is happening. I do not want this wedding, Mama. I'm telling you. I'm a single wedding. I'm a single Mama. I'm a wedding. I'm a single wedding. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. So, do I save it or you do with yourself? Um, don't worry about that. Just tell the princess I'm here. Okay, sir. Thank you. So, you finally decided to show off your ugly face. Are you looking around to confirm me if I just spoke with you? Of course I just spoke to you. You really have some nerves. Have you parted ways with your manners? Why are you talking to me like that? I can talk to you in any way that I want because you deserve it. Judith, what's your problem? Why didn't you pick my sister's calls yesterday? At what point did I become answerable to you? Or you just want to make a fool of yourself? Have you seen why I said you're stupid? Have you seen? What? My sister does not deserve you. I don't even know what she saw in you. I don't. I see you've lost your sense of sanity. One more derogatory reward from you again. And I promise you, I will smack that demon of disrespect off your mouth. Oh, please do. Try it and see if you won't brought in jail. Try it. Try him now. Try it and see if you won't brought in jail. I don't have time for your madness. You are the madman here. I don't even know what my sister saw in you. You don't deserve my sister. You're very disrespectful and I'm saying to your face. God, what did my sister ever see in you? Jesus Christ. Why are you standing here? Oh my God. Princess Judith is so disrespectful. Don't jump into conclusions yet. I mean, we never can tell what Mr. and what Manna did to trigger that reaction from her. Why? Why shouldn't she jump into conclusion? No matter what, she shouldn't react like that. Of course, her actions is not justifiable. So if that man were to be her elder brother, that is, that is how she will be running mouth at him. She won't dare. The princess has really crossed the red line this time and she needs to be brought to order. That is because no one has beaten her up. That is why she's still messing up. And who wants to beat her up today? Is it you, beauty? No, of course not. <laughs> well, if I had the chance, I would have beaten her mercilessly. Black blue. Oh my darling Jason, you do not have the means, so swallow whatever it is you have in there. Who Kamaka? I am suspecting you. You don't declare bribe. In Abaga Kazu, who Kamaka? Beauty, that is an insult to my pocket. She's giving you small, small change. 
I will not stand here and watch you insult me for the beauty. Ordinary palace maid. And what are you? What personality are you talking about? Sorry. Um, girls, wait. We shouldn't let this bring quarry among us. Yeah! Hold it! It's already bringing problem because this girl, she, she's stepping on my toes. Touch me one more time, beauty, and I'll, I'll ask my dear princess to throw you out of this palace. After all, she doesn't like you. I am just keeping quiet for one thing. <laughs> Don't get me angry. Ada, good yourself. You people should tell beauty to calm remain. Calm down, beauty, calm down. Okay, it's okay. Touch me one time and move out of this palace. It's okay. I'm just Honestly, Mama, she's very lucky. She's very lucky. What did she do? Can you imagine, Mama? The fool walked up to me, asking me why I refused to take her sister's calls. Okay. Can you imagine that? How is that her business? Same question I've been asking myself. What nonsense. Please, it's okay. Let that not bother us, you okay? Someone was here looking for you. It's okay, who? calm down. Who? Who, Mama? Who, who came she to She said me? her her name is uh, Amuma. Yes, Amuma. Ma Ma Mama, why didn't you ask her to wait for me? I did. It appears she was in a hurry. Uh, Mama. You know her? I have to go and see her now. We'll, we'll talk later, okay? It's okay. Bye, Mama. told my fiancé was here. Please forget him. Why? He doesn't deserve you, sis. Can't you see? I gave him a piece of my heart. Excuse you? What do you mean you gave him a piece of your heart? I asked him why he wasn't picking your calls yesterday. And he wanted to be stupid, so I lashed out at him and put him where he belongs. You did what? I told him he doesn't deserve you and you're not in his class. Oh my goodness. Who sent you? Sis, I thought this is exactly what you wanted to tell him. Oh God. Judith, why are you like this? How? How? Listen to me. If he get upset, you will have me to contend with. Uka. Yes, my princess. Get me my car keys. Okay, my princess. Who the hell cares?
Well, I came to your house to look for you, but your mother told me you were not around. Oh yes, I went out to take care of some things. So, well, why did you come? Um, it's about the friendship proposal. I decided to give it a shot. <sighs> All right. What about it? Um, let's just say I decided for us to be friends for now. Just friends. Why not marriage? I don't even know you too well. I want to use the opportunity and get to know you. That way I'll be able to know if I can get married to you or not. That's all right. That's all right by me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for your understanding. Okay, I have to get going. Why don't I drop you off? Okay. I'll open the door for you. As usual. <laughs> yes, I One mana. One mana. Huh? It's possible he's not home. But where could he have gone to? I don't know, my princess. Um, maybe I should check them at the back. Let me check the back of the house, my princess. Just check him or his mom is at the back. Okay. Hurry up, please. Is it there? No, my princess. You can't find any of them? None of them is home, my princess. I'm sorry. Sorry. Let's go. Okay, my princess. can talk about um, getting the youth involved in what you're doing. Yes, uh, I already have that in motion. It's just that 
I do not have a particular place that I can start off our meeting point. What about your place? I can't choose my place. My brother is not in support of my nation. Your brother? Your brother is supposed to support you and not the other way around? Yes, he's supposed to. Not until he told me that I'm fighting a lost battle. And is he enjoying any of this? No, he doesn't. Then he's supposed to support your campaign? Well, he can't. Because the elders are using him to hatch their jobs. Besides, <sighs> he's the youth leader. And he gets some peanuts from, you know, all these jobs for them. I see. Well, about the venue, you shouldn't stress yourself. I think um, you can actually use my place. Thank God I have a very big compound that can accommodate a good number of people. So, really? That's yours. Yes. Wow! Thank you! Thank <laughs> you! Thank you so much! Now you're sound and sick. Beauty! Just don't say anything. Go there and pack your bags. Mine is already packed and I'm set to go. Don't tell me you mean what you're saying right now. If I don't mean it, I won't be saying it. I'm damn serious. Okay. Assuming I decide to leave with you, where are we going? Just live with me first. I will decide where we'll go. Trust me on this. Um, I have to get going, please. I do not have strength for this drama right now. But it's it's alright. What's going on here? Have you both lost your tongue or what? No, we haven't lost our tongues. I think you should watch your mouth. How dare you talk to me like that? Are you mad? I am not mad. As a princess, I think you should behave as one, not like a tout. Listen. Stay away from my man. I can kill because of him. Stay away from my man. Fine. Noted. Can I at least go now? Out of my sight. What you just did is a perfect definition of show of shame. Was that necessary? You know, I didn't expect you to talk. Rather, you were supposed to hide your face in shame. Really? Yes! Why? Because you were cheating on me and I just caught you red-handed. Is this what you call cheating on you? This? Hmm. Ready. What other way is cheating best defined? Other than what I just saw you doing? Hmm? That means the other day I saw you discussing with Obi on the road. You were actually cheating on me. Huh? You are deviating from the subject matter. Oh no. I am not deviating from the subject, princess. You just define cheating. I'm only trying to tally it with what you were doing the other day. 
Why are you so stubborn? Who is she? You just called me cheats. I don't expect you to ask me questions. Why are you so stubborn? Hmm? No, princess. Rather, it is you who's wallowing in stubbornness. To have a good day. It's okay, my princess. I'm sorry he had to walk out on you like that. But you can only sort things out to him later, right? It's not okay. Didn't you see what just happened? I saw everything, my princess, and I am so sorry. But like I said, it's wise to sort it out later. Please, let's return to the palace, please. Please, my princess. Please. Thank you. Please wipe your tears, my princess. Crying will not solve the problem. I just feel like killing myself. Oh, God forbids it. God forbids you kill yourself because of just a man. He's not just a man. He is the love of my life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why is she crying? She's in the right position to tell you. Big sis, why are you crying? One oh, man has broken my heart. Leave us. <laughs> I did not even fear remorse for what he did. And as if that was not enough. Do you think he has anything to do with the other woman you saw him with? Yes. Who's the girl? Amuma. The late chief. Dema's daughter. You are welcome, Senator Ubu. Thank you, Chief Okaf. So, why this unexpected visit? Chief Okaf, as you already know, we are approaching an electionary year. So, I want to retain my position in the Senate. I have decided to start my mobilization on time. That is good. That's good. Chief Okafor, you understand the language. <clears throat> yes. That is a sum of five million naira. I want you to disburse it amongst the youths, women, and your fellow elders as well. Tell them I am the right candidate and that uh, I am soliciting for their support to retain my seat at the Senate. Also let them know that more is on the way if I eventually retain my position at the Senate. <clears throat> uh, Senator Ogu, Chief Okafu, your message will certainly get to them. 
they will vote for you to win the election. And Thank you so much. You shall retain your seat at the Senate. Thank you, Chief Okafo. And let me state it here categorically clear. If I eventually retain my seat at the Senate, the rest are sure that I will give to you a brand new SUV. Huh? <laughs> Senator, see, remove that word if. It is a conditional language which is not good enough. Eh? Let us be positive. I am giving you the assurance that you will win the election. Clear, clear. Landslide victory. You shall be there at the Senate. Thank you, Chief. <laughs> That's good. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. The time. Hey. <laughs> All right, uh, let me run along. A man snatcher like you should hide your face in shame. Why do you act as if you've parted ways with your manners? And here you are, gallivanting as a princess. Oh, please, spare me your classless ammunition. Stay away from him. He loves my sister and he's going to get married to my sister. Who are you talking about and why should I stay away from whoever you're talking about? Recently, you've been seen all over him. Scheming him to seduce him into getting married to you. Obviously, you're talking to the wrong. Excuse me. Where do you think you're going to? If you take a step, I will cut you bit by bit. Stay away from Wamana. He's my sister's husband. And if the next time I come for you, trust me, I will cut you bit by bit. A word they say is enough for the wise. Nonsense. Genji Father. I have to say this. If we must have this conversation, then you have to comport yourself. What happened? Father, he's giving me attitude. That's rather strange. Give meaning to your words. Father, he's giving me signs that he doesn't want this relationship anymore. Did you quarrel with him? No. No. Now, can you tell me exactly why you feel he is giving you attitude? No, Father. Okay. I will talk to him. Father, please tell him I love him so much. Make him know that he has to marry me. I am afraid my daughter, I cannot do that. I can't force him to marry you, you know that. But father, you are the king, and the king has the final say. I understand, but not when it comes to matters of the heart. But not to worry, uh, you don't have to bother yourself anyway. I will talk to him, and I will get back to you. Thank you, Father. No problem. Please. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> but wait, so the savior of mankind is a man snatcher. <laughs> I have always known that there is something evil about him. <laughs> but you know that she's messing with the wrong person. The princess will never. The princess I know will never let her snatch her man away. Exactly. Because the princess is a fighter. <laughs> and I know she will use everything she has to fight for her man. <laughs> of all the men in this kingdom, why the princess man? Because she is greedy. Instead of thinking of how to start a relationship with a man, all she could think about is to snatch another woman's man. I wish I can see her right now. What will you do? <laughs> Trust me, 
I will finish her with my mouth. I trust you. The only woman whose mouth is sharper than a blade. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> Whatever you think you're doing will not work. You see, my sister, you must marry her. Princess Judith, does it mean you don't have sense? I can guarantee you that when I come for you, you will not have the mouth to talk. Listen up, you little brat. I am one of those men who have seen it all. Oh, really? You cannot force me into marrying a girl, especially when I've made up my mind not to. I can't believe you are this stupid. Watch your tongue. Oh, I wouldn't. After everything my sister did for you, all you could do is treat her with restraint. Point of correction. Your sister did nothing for me. Oh, really? I'm a hard-working man. I worked so hard for myself. Have you forgotten how my sister used her contract to give you contract that paid you a huge sum amount of money? Whosoever told you that lied to you. I sourced my contracts for myself. I've rejected so many, especially the ones your sister brought to me. The facts are there. You can ask her. If you deny her giving you contracts, that means you could deny having the best woman in her. You know what? You're just so classless. Oh. Get out of my house, please. Get out. You haven't seen the last of me. When I come for you, prepare and wait for me. Be guided. I'm only... Allowing this happen because you're a woman. If not, I will break your face right now. Get out of my house. Get out! Now! Trust me, when I come for you, you will not have the mouth to talk. You will hear from me. It's okay. Can you imagine that? Bad things are going on. The people who suffer. Hello. Chi. You're welcome. Thank you, Chi. Did anybody come with you? No, sir. Good. Sit down. Let us talk. Chi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Take That is the sum of one million naira. What is the money for? Good. Senator Ugu was here today. And he said, I should pass over this one million naira to the youth for mobilization. Hmm? And when I say the youth, I mean the boys and the girls. I understand it, you. Good. Make sure the money gets to every one of them. Sure. Got to get to the one. Good. I guess you understand the message. Of course. The message is that Senator Ogu must be re-elected. That's it. Case closed. Look at you. Son, the girl that just left here is Evo. And I need you to be careful with her. Mama, forget about that girl. She can't do anything. No, I can't. I'm worried already. Mama, worried about what exactly? So that girl can hurt you. That girl can go to any length to bring you down. And you know I don't want anything to happen to you. Mama, nothing will happen to me. Nothing. So, can you just... Can you just settle with the princess, please? Mama, there is no settling. I have made up my mind and it's final. There is no going back. So forget about all this talk about settling. I'm not settling anything with her. No, no, no. And if there's anybody to be blamed here, that should be you. Oh, mother, please. Please. Why are you making things difficult for me? Help me. Oh, no. I am not making things difficult for you. I am only trying to give you advice as a mother. The advice you declined before. Maybe now you are going to hit to the advice. Ah. Mother, please. Pride goes before a fall. You have to reap the fruit of your pride. <laughs> 
You called me. Can you at least sit down? Don't know, Nana, now. What is it? Then they're gone. They got out together. What's the money for? Um, Senator Ogu visited yesterday. He's seeking for re-election for Senate. So he said the girls should use the money and take care of themselves. And what next? And during the election. You and the other girl should be able to vote for him. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Gone are the days that we vote for people, politicians who share money around. We vote for credibility nowadays. I don't understand. You don't understand? What I am insinuating is that I will not tell my girls to vote for a man who only shares money during election period. No! We will vote for a man who has impacted meaningfully to the lives of our people, not the other way around. Please take your money. Amuma, this is money. 200,000 Naira. Even if this money is 10 million Naira, I will never touch it. What is wrong with this girl? What is wrong with this girl? Reject the money. Oh, oh, how? That's my luck now. Oh, hold me. I'm always ready to fight. Ready to go to war. If I'm not a person, i to regret how people from this bondage. I'm going to go to war. What do you want? I come in peace. State your mission. Can you at least offer me a seat? No. I won't offer you any seat. Very well then. <coughs> um, what do you mean? I come to inform you that um, Senator Ogu offered you 500,000 Naira. <laughs> I'm not interested. Yes. Months. But at least you would have allowed me to land. I'm done listening to you, but I want to leave you with this message. Go and tell Snetugu that we are tired of men like him. That the people are willing now to vote men with clear vision on how to better the lives of our people. Not men like him. What do you don't you think you're making a mistake? No mistakes. I'm not making any mistake. At the polling unit, the people will choose who to vote in one voice. Trust me on that. Since you're done, can you not leave? It's okay. Keep moving. I want this discussion to be simple and straightforward. So that you can go back to what you were doing before the guard came to call you. I will appreciate that, Your Majesty. My daughter, Princess Nkenjika, said there's a problem between both of you. So I said I must hear from you before coming into it. Thank you very much, Your Majesty, for giving me a listening ear. I truly appreciate it. Well, that is me for you. As the king, I always insist on hearing the other side of every case. Your Majesty, Princess Nkimjika, with all due respect, is not the kind of woman I want to end up with. She does not possess the charisma I want in a woman I will make my wife. 
I'm sorry. Uh, why don't you, because I have this feeling that maybe in the course of the relationship, you know, you can build whatever attitude you want in her. Why don't you try it out? Your Majesty, I have tried, but unfortunately it didn't work. Secondly, the princess is wired in pride. And that is one thing I hate in women, pride. What exactly did she do? Your Majesty, there are some information we shouldn't disturb the king with. In that case, I will advise that uh, both of you should go and sort yourself out so that you continue in the good things you have shared together. Your Majesty, I do not wish to continue. I have made up my mind to end this, and it's final. Are you very sure about that? I'm positive, Your Majesty. It's okay. You have the call to make then. Once again, thank you very much for listening to me. I wish you take my leave, Your Majesty. It's well. That is how it is going to be. You will be like that. The joke up. Hey, it's all set. All is well, bro. Hey, who go? Eh. Hey. From who? From Senator Ogu. Who is seeking for re election to the Senate? Uh, election? Uh, so, what are we supposed to do with this money? Why are you asking as if this is your first time to receive money from him? Ah, don't be offended, though. I'm just asking because this time the money is too much. Yeah, exactly. I, I wanted to add some question. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Well, don't be surprised. That means I bargained better this time. Yeah, it's your so car for. <laughs> so the money is for for mobilization. He wants to be re-elected back to the Senate. That, that is all. That is all. He doesn't have problem now because I and myself and my entire family. We are all going to vote for him. <laughs> Even my family too. All of us will vote for him. <laughs> that is it. Hey! Hey, uh, Ilo, how are you? Fine. Ilo, what you got for? Your sister is getting on our nerves. It appears you cannot control. What you got for? I've been talking to you. Your talking is not enough, Ilo. You have to talk more. Are you aware that she's gathering people that will uh, 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 stand against us when the time comes. No, that is not possible. My sister cannot do that. It is a pity you have eyes but cannot see with the eyes. Now we are giving you the last chance to call her to order. Yes. Else, what we will do to her will be highly regrettable. Yeah, hey, what we I have heard you, my elders. I will, I will talk to her. Uh, Ilo, you better do. Makandi Botsuna, or your ball, I would want to be here. Anybody that train, kill, should blame his ear, not the train. We have told you. Well, uh, that's a sign. Hey, look, the money I gave to you, did it get to the appropriate quarters? Yes, yes, uh, it gets to the appropriate quarters. I am afraid his mind is made up and there is nothing anybody can do about it. What exactly did he say? He said it's over between you and him. No. No, father. There's no how he would have said that to you. But he said it. But I haven't done any, any bad to him. What we had was just a, 
a normal misunderstanding between boyfriend and girlfriend. Well, uh, he said you are not the kind of woman he wants to keep as a wife. Father, you're making this up, right? Because there's no how he would have said that to you. The last thing I will do is to say what he didn't say. I am far bigger than that and you know it. But we've gone so long together. Why didn't you tell me? Maybe he was looking for the best way to tell you. And the best way is to report me to you? You see, my daughter, I want you to forget about him. No, father. I can't forget about him. We have come a long way together for me for, for forced to just go our separate ways. I can't, I can't live without him. I cannot leave him. No. But the man I saw here has already left you. I mean, the man I saw a moment ago here, I must confess, has moved on. And I will advise you to do the same. I can't live without him. He cannot move on without me. Not when I'm still alive. You sound desperate. Am I one that desperate people do not always end well? Father, in one matter, I am very desperate. And this is going to end well. Son? Mama? You're welcome. Thank you very much. How did it go? You went well. Tell me exactly what happened. Why did the king demand to save you? Well, he called to ask about the misunderstanding between the princess and I. And what did you tell him? I told him it's over between the princess and I. As simple as that. What was his response like? Mama, the king is a man. He understands you cannot force a man into marriage. So he let me go. Hmm. What about the princess? Did she allow you to go to Mama, I don't care what she thinks. All right? The most important thing is it's over. I'm done. And that's final. Son. You have to tread with caution. The princess and her sister appears very dangerous. Please, I don't want anyone to harm you. Mama, forget about those little girls, okay? They can't do anything. I'm very hungry, please. Do you have any food in this house? Mm. I have white rice and swallow. Which one would you want to eat? White rice and swallow. swallow. Very sweet. White rice. Mama, have boats, please. <laughs> How do you want to so have boats? I'm hungry. I don't know. I just can't talk. I've been Tell me the one I should bring first. Mama, let me have um, swallow first, then the rice can go. <laughs> I can see you're very hungry. Mama, <laughs> plenty meat. Amuma. Amuma. What is this that I'm hearing? What are you hearing? That you go about grooming some girls to protest against the tradition of our land. Yes, what about it? Amuma, why have you decided to dig your own grave? Oh, please. It is the people who set up this frontline scheme and call it tradition that are digging their own graves. Amuma, listen. I'm advising you as my only sister to stop whatever you are doing, unless you want them to banish you out of this kingdom. Well, if they convince the king to raise his offer and banish me from this kingdom, I am going to stand still, stay back and it will shock you. Nothing will happen to me. Why are you this stubborn? Eh? Why are you this stubborn? I'm listen. They have decided to give you some money so you can back out. Well, you know me when I embark on a journey or on something. Bribery is out of it. I'm for your own good, though. You have to accept that money. Well, the last time I checked, the law of bribery states that it is a voluntary process, not to be forced on anyone. It is very unfair for him to chill the, the princess just like that. 
no matter any wrong she has done. Well, if you ask me, I would say she got exactly what she deserves. But wait, why are you always engage the princess each time matters concerning her arrest? Maybe you like the princess but does not know how to think. Abu! <laughs> me. Will you shut that mouth? Me? Like her? Never! Never! The, the question should be, why will Mwamana pull out of the relationship now, now of all time? You understand? He has eaten to his satisfaction. That, if he must be told, it's one of the characteristics of a guy, man. Once you are done, you cast them and you move on. <laughs> That's a bad way of life. The lady you hurt today may cry out for you tomorrow. I beg she which can which, which kind of cry with her? You know how many girls we don't cry for this life? You know how many we don't cry for me? Nothing so. Wait, yeah. guys, guys, guys. See, if I have any chance to break any girls out, I will do that without hesitation. Mm -hmm. If I tell you what girls have done to me in this life, eh, you guys will pity me. In your amateur program, there. Why wouldn't they do you? Ijiego. Do you have money? Money is not everything. When you could ask it. Get you could ask it. See, man, if I hear, mm, if I hear money is not everything for a man. See, man, I tell you, man, I give you advice. Before you approach any lady, eh, make money first. Make money, stop nonsense. You never hear say money, stop nonsense. Eh, what you guys don't do? You never say anything. <laughs> to say I don't be fine, boy. Come on, woman, I'm warning you. I'm warning you. Um, I called you for this discussion because you are the only man in this kingdom that my sister listens to. How are you sure she listens to me? I'm not blind. Besides, I have ears. I can hear the rumors that be making round. Depending on what you heard. That is a story for another day. I want you to talk to my sister. Talk to your sister about what exactly? I want you to talk to her about the way she's going about fighting against the tradition of this land. The tradition that she do not know when it was established. I don't understand. Like I said, the tradition of this land. How about the tradition of the land? She is protesting against the law of this land. She raised some group of stupid girls that go about protesting against the law of this land. That alone could lead to her banishing. How do I come in? I want you to talk to her. To stop from the way she's trading. Because the tradition she's fighting against is way bigger than her. It will consume her. It's alright, I've heard you. I will talk to her. Um, so, when am I getting response from you? As soon as I talk to her, um, I'll let you know. She's calling. I sounded very angry over the phone. What is it? I am so upset. What happened? It's the princess and her sister. What have they done this time? They are breathing down my neck. I, I have had it up to here with them. What is all this? What exactly did she do? They've been embarrassing me. They, they insult me and call me all sorts of names on the road. What? You really need to talk to them. Make her understand. Explain things to her that we're just good friends who want to achieve a common goal. And that's it. It's, it's all right, okay? It's all right. Keep your cool. I'll take care of this. I promise you I'll handle it. All right? That's what you said the last time. You need to do something about it. Seriously. No, this time I'm going to do something about it. Okay? If you say so. I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you over on the phone. I, I was... Uh, I understand. I, I totally do. Are you fine now? 
I'm here to talk to you because you are elder brother. So when I want to do what I want to do, nobody will blame me. I can perceive some element of pride in you. It doesn't matter. On the contrary, it does. Because you walk into my compound without greeting me. <laughs> greeting is mine and I choose to give it to whosoever deserves it. Oh. Yes. It is very obvious you lack some manners. And I want you out of my compound this minute. Do you know who you are talking to? The person talking to me right now is a fool. Who does not deserve my time? Get out of my house. Tell your sister to stay away from my sister's husband. I say you should get out or else I will push you. You won't dare. <laughs> and the only way to find out is for you to leave my house. Idiot. You are here running your mouth for me. No, you would have stayed. Rubbish. You're welcome once again, Senator. Thank you, Your Majesty. Good. Well, you didn't tell me you were coming. Yes, I decided to come unannounced for security reasons. I see. So, uh, what is the visit all about? I need a chief tasty title, Your Majesty. It is somehow for my level and positions in the nation's politics, I do not have a chief tasty title attached to it. <laughs> well, um, the choice to be conferred with a chief tasty title is yours to make. After all, you are one of the illustrious sons of this kingdom, and I must confess you deserve it. Nothing you ask is out of question. Besides, a man and the if I want to So I won't consider your request as being great. Thank you, Your Majesty. So, uh, do you have any title name in mind? Not at all, Your Majesty, but I know I can always count on you. Any title you decide to give to me, I promise you, will be fine by me. <laughs> well, uh, you see, there's this title I've been preserving for a very long time now, and I think you will like it. Oh, God, you do good, God. Can I hear it, Your Majesty? Of course. Odozi Obodo. One of whom we new kingdom. Oduzi Obodo one. I like it, Your Majesty. You like it? Yes, I like it. <laughs> then it's all yours. It's all yours. Thank you, Your Majesty. I know I can always count on you. Your Majesty, this is just uh, my little way of showing my appreciation. And, uh, and I promise you, after the confirmation, more will come. And you call this little? <laughs> it's a little, Your Majesty. Ah. Let me assume you already the Odozi over the one of Umwen Kingdom. <laughs> That's fine, Your Majesty. Odozi over the one. Odozi over the one. Odozi over the one. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. But I better take my leave now. Shall all right, Your Majesty. <laughs> Good. Good. I think this is a welcome development. Good. My brother, what is going on? Is this woman? This woman. If you don't come out from that place and follow me, you will see what I will do. I today. am going nowhere with you. You are going I, nowhere. Auntie Chuku, come, come, talk to me. What is happening? What is happening? Eh? This woman is a useless woman. You are the one useless did, and you will remain did, useless. Did, 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 why, why are you being here? Really? Did you hear her? Excuse me. Why are you people quarreling? He has made it a routine to hit me at every provocation. This time it was too much for him, so I had to retaliate. Tell him how you slapped me. Tell
tell him that you slapped me. Not just retaliation. But from what she's saying, you hit her first. He hit me like three times before I retaliated. You don't have any reason whatsoever to get yourself involved in matters of this magnitude. So I, I suggest you shut up your mouth. Of course I will shut up. Hmm? How on earth, how could you beat your wife so mercilessly like this and still push her from your own house to this place? How could you? Is that what you will call marrying? Uh, Is it? I do go. Will you shut up and go back inside? Papa, of course I will shut up. I will shut up and go back inside. But this must stop. Eh? It must stop. Men cannot continue beating up their wife as if they were picked from the street. I do go. If you say one more word again, I will do it to make a thing. All thanks to you. Nonsense. You have seen the magnitude of insult that you have brought upon me just in one day. You will come back and meet me at home. You. This woman. For how long has this been happening? This man is a useless man. I'm tired of him. <laughs> this is too much. You this? <laughs> we do that statement. Go to my room, take a bath, and wait for me. I will not do that, my princess. You didn't just say that. I just did. No, you didn't. Listen, we have not argued about this before, and we will not start now. So just do as I've requested Why I go to the bar and get myself high. My princess, last night was the last time I said to myself that I was going to do that. I am tired of this whole thing. I am Undudim, the senior guard in this palace. I will not continue to let you, allow you, Use me as a sex toy. I will not do as you say. Let me not wait for you while I get to my room. Five years. A full grown mature man like me using me as a sex toy. I say no to this. I say no. The worst come to worst, you either sack me or I walk out on the job. Can't continue like this. Please have a seat. So, to what do I owe this visit? I'm sorry. It was never planned. But something happened that I need to let you know. Really? What is it? I can't believe that the men of our community still beat up their wives mercilessly. Their wives? Yes. What prompted this? What are you talking about? Earlier today, uh, Mr. Ajulichuku. Eh? Yes. Pursued his wife from his house with Cain to our own house. After beating her mercilessly, you need to see this woman's body. Are you serious? <laughs> Does things like this still exist in our community? My dear, I used to hear things like that, but I just witnessed it myself today. Wow, that reminds me of my uncle and his wife. The way the woman used to maltreat and beat him up. Eh? 
wait. Does such a thing exist? As you meet me, idiot. Nonsense, man. Uncle, Uncle Kito, Kito. Sorry. Since when did this start? Ever since I married her. Ever since I married her, it's been like this. And you never reported or told anyone? Is this the kind of story what we want to tell? That my wife beats me. But you had, and abroad. You had a high level of understanding with my father. You never at least let him know. Your father knew about it. And he never did anything to stop it. He tried his best. He spoke to her several times. In fact, she changed while he was still alive. But after his demise, she went back to her demonic self. She's been like this. In fact, my one regret is that I found her and married her by myself. Supposing someone else had found her for me, I would have taken my frustration from that person. But Uncle, you need to tell me something. You need to, you need to tell me everything. Maybe that way I can be able to come in and help you out. This is getting out of hand. On a sunny day like this, your wife is bouncing on you on the road. What if it was someone else that saw you people? Ikoku! Ikoku! What the hell are you doing here? How many hours will it take you just to go get me something from the market? Ah, Audi, I think it is. It is your husband you are talking to like this. Eh? Audi, when did this one start? Come here, Abidu! When did this start? What sort of stupid question is that? Oh, ah, Audi, take it easy. Take it easy. You sent me, but you begged me to help you buy something from the market. Does it give you the, 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 the audacity, the, 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 the propensity to, to, to insult me? Yeah? Are you mad? Have you gone crazy? It is you that is mad. How do you, you slap me? And I will do that again and again. Give it to me, stupid man. Nonsense. want your trouble this morning. Please. Let me pretend I did not hear you. Let me pretend I did not hear that you just called me a troublemaker. Ikoku, where are you going to? I'm going to look for food to eat. Yes. Dahude, listen. I married you as a young woman. Very young woman at this at this Age to take care of me, take care of everything about me, both up and down. But you have turned into the direct opposite of the reason I married you. Direct opposite. You are not doing your duties as a housewife. You have refused to take care of me. You have refused to feed me. You refuse to do anything for me. 
So let me go out there and look for food and eat. That's it. At least can we go to Kenya from Kenya? Goku, did I hear what you just said? What did you just say? But you had me well, didn't you? You had me well. Can you if I'm going let me go and look for food to eat? Let me eat the up one first. And then maybe somehow this other one will be taken care of. Before the count of three, Gino. let's go to the house. One! Gino. Two! Me? Let's Goku! Let's go to the house. Gino. Yes! Let's go to the house. Hey, 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 hey. My dear, my uncle saw hell in the hands of that woman. What? What kind of a woman treats her husband like that? My dear, this is to let you know that it is not only women that go through abuse. Men too go through it. That means we have a lot of work to do. You can say that again. We have to point it out to the king. Any man or woman seen beating the wife or the husband would have to pay a heavy fine. Exactly. Wow. I support you on this. Where is Undudim? Have you all lost your tongue or what? We don't know where he is. Just shut up. And speak for yourself, you fool. Okay, my princess. I don't know where he is. I don't know where he is either. I don't know where Undudim is, my princess. And what about you? I don't know where he is. You know what? You all just confirmed how stupid you are. Just go out there. Look for him and make sure you don't come back to this palace without him. Now get out, you fool. going back to that palace. Yeah? Can you imagine? Each time she wants to rape me, she will just get high on drugs, mix all kinds of nonsense in her system, and, and, and will begin to ride me like a bicycle until I lose all my bones. Yeah? I'm never going back to that palace. So, where are we going to? To my uncle's place. You didn't tell me we were going to your uncle's place. I told you. Maybe you didn't understand what I meant by that. It's alright. I hope it's fine. Yes, it's fine. Just that he's been going through some abuse in marriage. Um, I don't understand. What do you mean? His wife always beats him up on a daily basis. What? Yes. How? What do you mean by how? You think it's only women that go through abuse in their marriage? Of course. 
That's what we hear in the news every day. And not a man going through this. Hey! Well, when you see him, you'll find out from him. <laughs> I'm still finding it very hard to, to believe this. <laughs> it's crazy. <sighs> crazy. Who knows if Herbert and Clement spotted him at home? Benson, I don't know. Benson, hmm. you and I left Pal at the same time. You're asking me that question. Please, let's call them and hear the update. My phone is not here with me. Oh, what do we do now? I'm not with my phone too. You know, we didn't plan on leaving the palace where we did. Who knows what she wants him to do that we cannot do? You can ask damn question, eh? Do I look like a man will meet to you? The worst thing is that she said if we don't find him, we shouldn't come back. What's come to us? We'll go to my family house. Eh? Let's just start going you now because it's pointless staying, staying here. Let's start going before it gets late now. I can't find him. Yeah, let's start going before it gets too late now. That was so kind of you. People like that should be taken care of. At least put on monthly salary by the community. You know, you just mentioned it. And I'm going to add it to the speech which I will be presenting to the king. Hmm. And that's very nice of you. Mm -hmm. Well, it is your idea. I should be the one saying thank you. It is you who's put in effort to implement it. You always have a way with your words. Let's oh. go. <laughs> Let me help you with that. Darling. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. reason to lie to you, my princess. She just did. Believe me, my princess, I am not lying to you. Give me one reason why I should believe you. You have two hours to go out there and look for him. 
else, what I would do to you will be worse than death. Get out of my sight! That woman needs to be locked up. She needs to be punished for treating her husband like a slave. You don't need to involve the police anymore. It's among the community issues that we're trying to solve. What kind of woman is that? Hmm. That woman is very mean. She almost fought me the day I stood up to her for slapping my uncle. What? She slaps him too? That's what is being done on a regular basis. <sighs> this, is, this is bad. She needs to be stopped. Trust me. Why hasn't he told anyone about this? My father knew about it. And what did your father do to stop her? Well, he threatened her not to ever lay her hands on him again. Else, she will be banished from the community. She respected herself. But once my father died, she reversed back. She needs to be punished. Just like every other man that has been abusing their wives. They also need to be punished. We need to get going. My uncle is waiting for me. I don't know what's keeping the food. Okay, yeah, the food. Oh, thank you very much. You've paid her, right? Yes, okay. I have. Yeah. I don't... My princess, with the way things are going, I'm of the opinion we let the sleeping dog lie. Never! Never! Umdudi must come back to this palace and perform his duty. Hear your voice, my princess. This is a closely guided secret. But with the way you're going about all this, it might get into the wrong ears and that's bad for your reputation, my princess. <laughs> no one is going to believe her. No one. That's where you're wrong. Every nonsense has sense in it. Someone may believe him. You know what? I think we're done having this conversation. Just leave already. Leave. I beg you, my princess. I beg you in God's name. Let Ndi do go. We can always lure another guard into doing the job and nobody will find out as usual. Please. Please. You don't get it, do you? You don't. Whom do they is the one already tested and trusted that can give me the orgasm that I always need. I can't find myself, I can open myself to another God. I cannot do that. I understand, my princess. Okay, let me get you water, wine, anything. I'll Just go back. Mama, there is this sudden change in your countenance. What is it? How do you mean? Of course, you agree with me. I know you very well already. There's something you're itching to tell me. Why don't you just let it out? I don't know if it is right for me to tell you this. I really decided to handle it on my own way. But I do not know how you're going to feel or if you'll be affected when you get to hear about it. Now, from the way you sound, this topic has a lot to do with me. Why are you keeping it away from me? There is a guard called Ndudim. He came from the palace to see me early this morning. A guard called Ndudim from the palace? 
What's your business with the guard? It is very demeaning to say, but I have to say it anyways. Can you just let it out, please? Huh? The princess has been raping him. He confided in me that he has lost count on how many times the princess lured him to her chamber and raped him. And which of the princesses is involved in such despicable act? The one you intend on getting married to. What? I am going to cut her to size. I just didn't want you to find out and then feel bad about it. That's why I'm letting you know. You don't mean this right now. I'm damn serious. I'm going to give you a lowdown on how he narrated it. What? My princess. Um, Oka told me the queen wants to see me. And I've been here for over 20 minutes waiting. I'm the one who wants to see you. And not the queen. So why would Oka tell me that the queen wants to see me every time? Too many questions, and I just hate it. I'm sorry, my princess. Better. I'm sorry. You know what? <laughs> of all the the guards in this palace, you are the only one. Got my fancy. No, 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 my princess, princess, wait, wait, wait. Must this, must this happen again? It's, it's not right. Just relax. My princess, please. This is so wrong. I, I cannot do this again. Please. It's like you want to lose your job. No, my princess. I don't want to lose my job. Please. Then just relax. Hey, stop acting like a child. Behave like a man. Um, my princess, please. Okay. Why don't we go to your room? Because anybody could walk in on us. And, and this is just not appropriate. Please. I beg you. Don't worry about that. I have that under control. down. Sit. Just wait for me. I'll be right back. Hey, my 
Princess, why did you have the light? Princess, the, the light went off. Yes. No, 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 my princess, no, no, no. We, we, we cannot do this here. Why? This is the king's main living room where he does most of his meetings. And this is the king's chair. Something would definitely go wrong if we do this here. Shh. Nothing will happen. Nothing. Oh, let's do this. My, my princess, why do you force me to do this thing at odd place like this? You have a room. But my room is not free. It's not. We can do this here. Trust me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's go out to the compound. Let's find some dark corner. Some dark place there. The palace is big. Do it. Please. Are you sick? It's something wrong with your head. I'm sorry. You want to have the princess in the open? No. Very dark corner. Very dark. Do you know what? I don't have time for this argument. Let's do this. Sit. Sit. Take it off. Take it off. What is this? 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 What is where are you coming from? And what is the meaning of that? Do I owe you any explanations about my whereabouts? Yes, Indudim. You owe us some explanations. And... Uh, For Christ's sake, we are your colleagues. And you should tell us your whereabouts. Uh, one bit of... I'm not serious. You are not serious. You know, they are beginning to suspect you. Yes, exactly. I'm suspecting you. Exactly. And we'll soon find out where you go every night. Wow. That princess of yours is so heartless. And why didn't he open up all this while? He was scared. The princess threatened to throw him out of the palace. And you know how hard it is for a man to get a job. And because of that, he endured such dehumanizing act. Great. What a world. He had it up to his neck already. He was already choking him. He had to come confide in me. That princess is quite classless. I am going to deal with that daughter of the king. What are you doing here? We need to talk. You know you're the last person I want to talk to. It's not about who is the first or the last person you want to see. It's about you listening to me, giving me a listening ear. You are not in a position to give orders to me. Well, let's just say I'm doing that now. Just say what you have to say before I send the guards after you. Well, unfortunately, your guards are not even around. Just send them to go look for your sex toy. Well, let me go straight to the point. This is about under them. Let's go straight to the point and stop beating about the bush. I want you to bring him back with the other guards. If you do not, you will be seeing the other side of me. I mean, the bad side of me. Nonsense are you talking about? It will be nonsense when you do not do as I say. I hate to repeat myself. Have a nice day, princess. Oka. That fool exposed me to her. Let's go to the garden. Why are you like this?
Nothing. I'm okay. I guess you're still thinking about one more night. No. It's over between us. Are you serious? I've never been this serious in my life before. Ah, I like that girl! Give me up! Oh my god. You know what? I'll be outside. I'll be right back. It went well. So is it true she has been raping the guard? Yes. And she admitted it? Yes, she did. Oh my God. That's the most shameful thing I've ever heard about a princess anywhere around the world. A lot of things has been happening in this community and we need to put an end to it. Yes, yes, yes. Plans are already in motion and I pray God help us achieve all of it. Hmm? Amen. Let's go, darling. What men can do, a woman can do, and better. She appears like a woman, but she's more than a woman. What men can do, a woman can do. Be seated. Be seated. A woman. Your Majesty. You would have given me pre-information that you are coming with the other maiden so that I'll prepare myself. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. It's just that we've been expecting to hear a word from the palace for a very long time now. But since it wasn't forthcoming, we decided to come and hear from the king about our suggestions. I must submit immediately that uh, all your suggestions have been taken note of ranging from high cost of marriage, mandatory burial levy, and uh, domestic violence. I was particularly touched. And I want to assure all of you that all these issues will be discussed in council and drastic measures taken. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. The people who are supposed to talk keep silent well, um, it's, yeah, it's okay. Hmm? From what you have read, what do you have to say? Well, going by the document, I must say that we don't need any prophet to tell us that we are not ruling the people well. I personally took time to read the marriage list. And I must confess, it is too high for any young man. When did we even increase the marriage list to that point? That is my question. Your Majesty, it was done when we wanted to build the bridge connecting us with Amigo community. The sole purpose was to raise money for the project of the bridge. Even the barrier levy was meant for the same purpose, to raise money for the project. Good. I believe the project is completed, right? Yes, Your Majesty. Then there is no use keeping the list we have to go back to what it used to be, or even reduce it. I think that's what we should do. <coughs> uh, Your Majesty, um, don't you think that these girls are trying to box us into a corner? They are trying to force us into doing something we might regret in future. Ichi, I think you're wrong. They just reminded us of what we have forgotten. That is the way I see it. 
They told us in plain facts how to be good to our people. And I stand with them completely. Your Majesty, may I reign belong. Our people say that the truth is as bright as the moon. I agree with you completely that we should return to what it used to be, especially the married list. That the so-called uh, burial levy, I am of the opinion that that should be abolished completely. Thank you, Ofebu. I think you have said it all. I am going to adopt everything that is in that document, and I want us to start implementing them immediately. Have I spoken? Oh, well, that's because I wanted to surprise you. I've got good news. Okay. Guess what? What? I'm not good at guessing. You still have to guess. Okay, you want a contract? Nope. Then guess what? again. what? Let's just go straight to the point. <laughs> it's all right, I'll tell you. You see, I've just been informed that the king and his cabinet members have adopted everything you stated in that document. No, you are joking. Of course, yes. No, you are joking, right? <laughs> You're lying. It doesn't end there. He has also placed a seal on it. That means binding all the people of Umuinu Kingdom. <laughs> yes! Of course, yes. Now we have to celebrate. <laughs> Trust me. Oh my God! Of course, of course we will. But... But, but what? But that will be after I must have done this. Amuma, of course you know I've looked everywhere. But it's still you. Will you marry me? Be the mother of my unborn kids. My wife. Please say yes. Because if you say no, I will drop dead here. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Yes. Yes! <laughs> now we can celebrate. I'm brave like a lion. I'm a mafialist lady. I'm a little. Not even the trade can wear her down. She knows what she wants. I'm a magic.